Yo, yo, yo. I'm not late. You're early. That's how it works around these parts. What? We're doing a uh, sudden. Someone said sudden draft. Sudden death. We're going to draft, however. I'm just quickly fix the scoreboard. The five game show match. Me against Doubt. Sudden disaster. All right. We're going to draft immediately, right? What? Oh, I'm still Cosro. Let's fix that. Let me bring chat over so I can see it. All right now I can see chat. All right. What maps do we have? We have Arabia, Arena, Canberra, Aboob, Hideout, Jungle Rumble, Socotra, Suburbs, and Zavol. Those are the maps. I pick first. Okay. Uh, how does Jumble, Jungle Rumble look like? Wait, do we have two towns in this? Sakatra, Suburbs, Zawal. Let's go Sakatra. Mm -mm. Ping Pong Champ, thank you for 20 months. Hip Thrusters, thanks for 16. Soon now, 26 months. Woohoo, I imagine the months of support if I continue through your Facebook period. Oh well. I enjoy support to go today with you. And though I can't catch all your content, what I see is superb entertainment. Keep it up, Arun. Thank you, Sunan. Appreciate that. Very kind. 26 long months. Bombastics, 100 bits. Good evening to you as well. Need Socotra? We all need Socotra in our lives. Cambra. We ban Jungle Rumble. Let's ban. We ban Arena, make John Slow mad. Let's do it. Pick Haboob. I want to see how Haboob plays out a sudden death. Sudden death. I, I would predict a Doubt Castle or two in this set. That much I guarantee, all, almost. How to counter mass ballista elephants beside Onager? Monk? Nah, I don't know. There's not really a great counter for ballista elephants. But of course, if you have high... Like if you have Paladin, for example, they will still do okay, but... There is no, like, amazing counter to ballista elephants except... Onagers, Siege Onagers. Bates, so he picks the wall. Suburbs. I haven't played Suburbs, so let's make that the game, the first game. I don't know what it looks like. It looks like some sort of arena. Arena version. You start. Oh, wait. Wait, it's a 3 to start. Oh. Well, that changes things. Okay. Wow, there's all these admin bans. Oh. Ooh. I'm Kid Z. Thank you for 17 months on Twitch to sub. Now to YouTube, watching the rest of the stream. Thank you. Enjoy it over on the YouTubes. Alright, so what's banned? Incas, Portuguese, Vietnamese. God, there's a lot of bands. All the smokes. Malians, Mongols, Bulgarians. So for 3 TC, I imagine like Lithuanians, Bengalis should be really good. And they're both free. He picks first. He's definitely going to go for one of them. There we go. Um, hell do I go for? Can you do a second TC with Cubans? Georgians are free. He will love Georgians. But I still don't have a choice. I'm going Byzantines for Canberra. I have Lithuanians for suburbs. I'm just hoping we get a better start because we will have 300 extra food from Lithuanians. So that's my thought behind them for suburbs. But then again, it's regicide, so I'm not sure how needed it is. We'll see. Wait, how does the regicide work then? Do you have three town centers? Which means you have to lose three town centers probably. 
as well. Spanish Bohemians. I have to remember it's one TC. So everything that shines on one TC is what we have to go for. So Katra, do I go Persians? Khmer is always there. Aztecs, Khmer maybe? I think Aztecs is a given. Yeah, these admin bands are random. I think I go Khmer. Yeah, there are there are some other good options here. So I'll do Khmer on right now, either Sokata or Zawal. I'm thinking Aztecs for is Aztecs for Zawal and then Khmer either for Sokata or Haboob. Uh, you need to lose all three town centers in suburbs to lose. Okay, thanks for the information. Achi Bukai, thank you for the six months. Dravidians. What map is that for? I have no idea. I have my eyes on Koreans, Turks. Britons shouldn't be too bad. Honestly. Yes, Tootney's gonna tower the hell out of me. Wait, we pick seven civs even. Okay. Tootney's might even be for the uh, for Haboob. I think we go Koreans and we go Turks. We have some flexibility as well, based on what he picks. I think Lithuanians is locked in for suburbs no matter what. Canberra, I'll probably go Byzantines no matter what. I'm going to lock those. The others we have flexibility on. Socotra has water on the sides. I'm pretty sure it's Socotra without being having access to the water. I think I see like a line of stones around. So it should be that version. He went Georgians, I know he couldn't resist. He has the mule, maybe he'll go Armenians as well. Persians are still free. They are a decent shout for like Haboob, for example. You have to think about the fact that this is one TC, right? You never add the extra town centers. Celts maybe? For Huang style? Slavs isn't bad. I was thinking Britons as well as a good good shout. Persians and Romans will probably be decent, but let's go kills. Oh, there's a snipe! Oh I don't have a civ wait. Oh shit. Well I'm sniping Bengalis. Which means he will have Spanish for the registered game. He's gonna snipe Lithuanians or Byzantines probably. I might have to adapt here. I knew that. So we have maybe Koreans then for the suburbs. This was a turn of events I was not expecting. Is he nowhere sniping? Maybe he clicked away after we were done drafting himself. Oh, he took Byzantines. Okay. I need to change things. Then I have Lithuanians against Spanish, most likely. Maybe it goes Georgians on the uh, suburbs. Is your house a Dort castle? My house is a Dort castle, yes. But we got great news today. Our lawyer finally reached through to our construction company after a lot of persistence from Debbie here. And... We have, we are going to have a date now next week where we finalize everything and then we're ready to move in at the end of the month, hopefully. Congrats, right, thank you very much. How many villagers were lost building the house? We don't talk about that. Eru266, thank you for the seven months. Uh, Billiard, TTR, thanks for the five year donation. It is 100% a doubt castle. How's the audio sounding, guys? Is it fine? 
I'm gonna test with with gameplay audio. Oh, you will have me asking a bit about the audio for a while as I'm getting used to the new setup and such. You will have to tell me if it's good or not. The, the game volume might be a little bit too loud, especially when the game gets really loud later on. What is sudden death? Sudden death is a game mode where too loud, like the the game volume is too loud. Test, test, test. Hello, hello, hello. Game volume is too loud. Maybe is it? Is it too loud? Fine. Okay. We have like that. Sudden death is a game mode where you can only ever have one town center, and if you don't have a town center, you're dead. Essentially, you lose your town center. You lose. Uh, you lose the game. Sudden disaster. It should be this one, right? You want to check Sakata to see if it's dockable? Nah. We'll figure it out as the game starts. Uh, Sukapet, Pete, thank you for the three months. And Swishers, thank you for gifting a sub. You just know the map, I know, right? Rick Lasagna! Sir Viper, sir, can you make a Hoang Rush build order guide video? I am trying to perfect the Hoang Rush for use on the ladder. I think I have a game or two from playing the Hoang Rush on my YouTube channel where it went pretty well. But I think if you really want to have a good Hoang Rush build order, you should probably download Hoang's rec recorded games. I think that's what you want to do if you really want a good build. And um, thank you for the five. Brick lasagna. Which civ is it that says brick lasagna? This is civ where villagers say it. I can't recall though. Bulgarians? Okay. Slavs and Bulgarians. Gotcha. What language will Baby Snake learn as his mother tongue? German? Probably German, yeah, because uh, we live in Germany. That would make sense. Let's teach in Portuguese. <laughs> See what happens. How well do you know German? Not well enough. Are you playing this tournament or just a show match? Uh, I'm playing the tournament as well. Right today we're having the show match. My Google tried to join. Yo, Nemesis AOE with the 13 months. Vipur. Oh, Drama sent me a song today. Uh, um. The suburbs is a fortress script which changes to to three TC by Bazi Drown. Played a sudden death game mode with the option right side ticked. Okay, so that has to put that. Okay, where's the song? Oh yeah. We heard a super draft tournament. I'm not sure. Get ready to jam. Go Arabia or no ball. All right, listen to me. Arabia is shit because all of his players take fucking spreadsheet bills from Heral Vipur and 50 minutes and horses in my economy. Seven horses and they hover around me and it fucking pisses me off. And there is no fucking horses. There is Castilla is start and you 
have you gallows? Any gallows? Don't give a fuck about TC fire. This is this is the zero damage to your gallows. Cause Arabia is shit. Arabia is shit. Okay, okay. <laughs> I posted a link in the chat. Let's play the game. Belt is waiting. That's gorgeous. Glorious, I mean. And he couldn't resist Jordans. Ah, okay. Here we go. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, we have three. Th Wait, we have so many resources? Man, playing with Lithuanians give me nothing. Oh, I've got, I got scammed. Wait. What's the win and lose condition here? I have TCs and King. Do I lose if I lose my King? Or do I... Do the town sense? Minus 100 gold? Why do we have that? I'm confused. Guess we could go straight to Feudal Age. Uh, okay, I'm a bit confused, but it's fine. Do we? Yeah, I really would like to know if we lose the game by losing our king, or if it still is about the town centers. We'll find out soon enough. So I'm not not gonna be able to go straight to Castle Age, but I'll get the equal upgrades. I don't need that many on gold this early. Um, to be fair, there is some room to do some fuel age stuff. Kind of. Ooh. Oh, we have a castle in the middle of the map. Yeah, it makes sense. He does as well. This is what it is. Got your money doubt winning the whole thing? Not impossible. Okay, so we just want to get horse color so I can turn all my wood into farms. That is my purpose of life. Almost. Yeah, I don't know if we can lose the king, so I'm gonna keep my king safe. Yeah, we definitely need more on wood. I think I would like a lumber camp here, on this town center. We also want the wood upgrade. Let's do that now. Keep it secret, keep it safe. Why is Gandalf in my chat? Alright, so far so good. Should probably look for relics now that I think about it. I'm probably not next to his castle. We want to make sure I can get some relics for my... For my lightest... Wait, whoa, wait, what? Okay, I guess our TCs are right next to each other. We would like to cast drop that, probably. It's not a relic. Um, I probably should idle TCs even at some point. Just to get up. I can do a castle drop. I think we may have even reached that point of idling town center. All my farms got horse color now, so I'm happy with that. Stout, you think will be fine? We'll see. Yeah, I think we're idling our TC now. Our TCs. Three TCs on that. Yeah, I'm not exactly. I, I think you need to lose all the town centers, but you have a king as well, right? 
In the regicide, you lose the game if you lose your king. That's what I'm not sure about how that's gonna work in this one. Can we build some houses here to like take away some castle drop spots? We can always delete ourselves if we wanna if we wanna drop a castle. We still have two lich, that's good. I'll probably be able to click cast lich quite fast. His build is good, he'll be able to go cast lich himself. Let's do that. Yeah, I should be faster than him for sure. Because he still needs to build a market, a blacksmith, or whatever. So I will get the castle drop first. We'll drop a second castle here on his town center. I think that's going to be the play. At the same time, we try to get a monastery up. What's our eco like? We cannot drop multiple town centers. We got to keep that in mind. So let's get eco upgrades. <laughs> He's going to try and get it. Yeah, I don't have to lose all town three town centers. So is the king irrelevant? Can someone tell me, or does anyone know if the king is just like irrelevant to this? Or if the king is still important? Delete it and find out. I'm kind of tempted to find out, but I'm not sure if it's a good idea. <laughs> Come inside. Yeah, let's not take the risk. Let's not. Let's, let's, let's just not. wheelbarrow let's do loom because we're gonna castle drop loom is always good all these wills will go to castle drop i'm hyped i mean we have red as a game mode which implies that king dying is gg but he can block this though his scout moved far away mistakes were made by him okay Will he castle drop himself? Do one monastery there, one monastery there. Pick up relics on both sides. Oh, what an amazing start. This is going to be perfect. Is he running wheels? Oh, hello, Doubt. Where are you going? Where are you going? Ah, what a start. Doubt in full disaster already. Love to see it. Love to see it. Yeah, build that church. Go hide. Overstealing his farms. Yes, 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 yes. I mean, you still need, need murder hole under the... Uh, under the church. He's dead. What a noob. <laughs> He's already dead. This was way too easy. This was way too easy. Come on, Doubt. Put up a fight, at least. Okay, where do we drop our next castle? There should be another TC there, right? I want more relics. I imagine the relics are balanced on this map, so they'll be probably be in the same locations as... as... Um, on my side, as his on his side. We need one more castle. Can buy it. What? This gate. Wait, where's his second ca town center? It has to be here somewhere, right? Hey, glad to catch you. Thank you. Oh, relic, relic. Oh, he's going in. Oh, oh, this is dangerous, actually. I guess this could be dangerous now I'm thinking about it. Let's see if we can get in. Uh, we definitely want to get that relic. So he can start. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. 
Oh no. Okay, I went up. All good. Uh, I need herbal medicine. Well, he still has to go really far to get to my... To get to my main TC, right? And he has lost two towns there. I'm still ahead. But it is a bit dangerous right now. <laughs> Let's get a university because we need to get like these upgrades that give me extra HP on my buildings. I think that can become quite useful. Yeah. Bloodlines, all that good stuff. We're gonna have three relics at least. Hey, what? His TC killed my hills. Do I dive on his traps? I think we do. Even though we took a lot of damage. This is still dangerous. Oh no. Let's run some wills. I almost defaulted trying to build a TC up there, but it's not really possible, is it? Yeah, let's get masonry. I'm down to one castle, suddenly. I need a lot more stone. I mean, he has lost a ton of eco, right? There, we shouldn't be able to lose this. There's no chance we lose this, right? No, it's not possible. Right? He's not, he's not protecting his traps right now. Maybe I can dive on, on this. Actually, why am I giving my thesis range? There's nothing. Okay, let's go, let's go. He doesn't have enough units. No chance. He's trying to quick wall this or what? <laughs> he was trying to quick wall it. Kind of pulled it off. I'm still housed. This is fine. I hate how they default to targeting the mule cart some sometimes. They just take the gate and we go for the traps. And we're chilling. What? Already? Victoria! 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 His equal doesn't look that sharp. I'm not sure if this was his plan or if he adapted. I guess he adapted because... Uh, he took so much damage early on. Sudden doubt. Why did they put the relic there? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy, easy. We were cruising. Not sure if the fast fuel approach was correct. We did get horse color and other things. I thought we wouldn't have that many resources. We started with like, well, a lot of resources, like a thousand food maybe. So that was brutal. Oh, apparently we got the settings wrong, as expected. John Slow says. Uh, right. So what was? He says he put regicide and sudden. What more can you do? Okay, what else did he miss? I think he did everything correct. Oh, he may have not put regicide mode. No, wait. Actually, I'm confused what he did wrong. So he's cancer. Thanks for 16 months. Danny Benito, 23 months. Hey, glad to catch you. Thank you. Celado with the two months. Would a king be faster than a Dark Age scout? Yes. King is faster than Dark Age Scout. 
I'm not sure what setting he got wrong. Let's continue listening to this. Wait, 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 wait. I have a tendency to win games with the wrong settings? True. Rias Kanzler with gifting 10 subs to the channel. Thank you so much for that. Gifting 25 subs in total now. Very kind of you, Rias Kanzler. Congrats to the 10 lucky ones. He did write some more with sudden death ticked. Ah, what an idiot. It was clear, like... Jon Snow even sent us a, a link with the description of how to do it. I'm guessing Doubt did not open that link. But I quit if Doubt trapped all my lighters between his castles? True. Yes. Make a house, 57 months, thank you! You were there when this was clicked? <laughs> oh, that's such so good. This guy, like, that one clip has given so much content. That came to DVM4, there you go. The origin of that uh, rant is from him. Why poor win next game else you shit? Well, thank you. I'll try my best. I don't want to be shit. It rivals NBL losing his mind over Arena. I would agree with that, yeah. Spread shit gamer. What is best AV2 song? There's a couple of good ones now. Leary smacked you hard. I, ice emoji. Did you feel like you were against Leary? I knew I was against Leary, yes. Let me rejoin. How can people be straight up rude on the internet and not think about it? It's the internet where you will feel the most comfortable to be rude because you're hidden behind an, another nickname. Everyone is asking to play Arabia now. That's good. L Viper Draft says your cause raw. Well, I am, so it's fine. Draft against Bohemians. On paper, this is a good save matchup for Aztecs. But... I have no idea how it's going to be on sudden death. Time to bring Red Bull home, at least for the baby. I'm not going to have my baby drink Red Bull before he is old enough to decide himself. I'm not planning to give him Red Bull. Why would I bring Red Bull to the baby? 
I know that you mean the Red Bull tournament. And just being stupid, by the way. What is Sudden Death? Sudden Death is a game mode where you can only have one Town Center. I know that sounds weird, given that the last game we had three Town Centers. But that was a special game mode within the game mode. But Sudden Death is a game mode where you have one Town Center, and if you lose that one Town Center, you lose the game. You're unable to build multiple Town Centers. New Canada, 10 months. Thank you so much. Go Primep with the 11 months. Thank you for that. Make a house actually at 57 months. Damn. It's a lot of moons. Pause for our jam. Can I spectate this game? You can spectate it by watching my stream. <laughs> uh, no, you can go into the game as well and spectate it. Yes, you could do that. Arabia is shit. Yeah. What an artist. I have no idea what to expect from that though. The Bohemians here. He's gonna fast imp, he's just gonna play hand cannon airs. It's either gonna be fast imp or it's gonna be cast slash hand cannon airs. Shaman with two months. Hi, Mr. Castro. Hello there. To Canada. Ten months again, thanks. Uh, Expect nothing less from Doubt True. Fast Castle, Petard is feasible. I think you're better off just dropping a castle next to the to the wall if you wanna. Your plan is to like break the wall and get in, right? Because then again, if you wanna make petards, you already built a castle. So you'd rather build a castle than on the wall and break it with, with the castle. Of course, you could do castle and petards. That's also an option. You just make skirms and you're fine though. On paper, yeah, skirms, atlatl skirms would be pretty good. Hello? That deer reaction took forever. Um, but then again, for atlatl skirms, I would also need a castle. I think I'm just gonna open with wills on stone. Healthy amount of wills on gold. Make some monks. And then, if he has a castle, we can build our own castle. As a reaction. And essentially do at lateral as needed. He has so many options here. I'm not sure if I can go wrong no matter what I choose though. Which is nice. Uh, sorry for a rude comment earlier. GG well played. It wasn't rude. I mean, it could have been interpreted as rude, but who cares? Why would I take offense? I did get wrecked. I lost 4-1. Four, four, that is wrecked. Wait, where's my second boar? Wait, what? I swear I saw it earlier. Oh, there it is. All good. Oof. Can I take another hit? I went to Divin's channel and asked politely if he could play Arabia. He asked me if I wanted the ban. <laughs> Seems justified if you ask me. Wait, what? Why would it... Go back. Didn't want the eagle anyway. Having an eagle is... It was waste of population space. Because, I mean, I have, I have, um, I cannot push more deer. I cannot bring in more boars. Why would I need the eagle anymore? Right? I don't, honestly don't, I think it's just a waste. I think that was the correct decision by me. Now I can delay my house. Or rather, I'll delay get, getting housed one more population. Everything is currently going according to plan. Smart, I know. How I roll. Oh yeah, the, the damn pathing, man. Look oh, out, cost row farms. Wiper confirmed. Oh, 
I'm gonna use a cheeky trick. Let's monitor the score. We have nothing better to do right now. Let's pay attention to the score, guys. We want to figure out when Doubt is going to the feudal age, right? Don't like that he has clicked already. Especially because he's probably planning a lot of different strategy than just booming. Because just booming isn't really possible in this, in this game mode. So we just monitor his score. The second his score drops by 5 points, like... Oh, look, it dropped It dropped 50 points. That means he just clicked up to the castle age. So we can assume he's doing 20... 25 bills. Feudal age? Sorry, feudal age. Wait, what did he just get an increase? Did he bait me? Did I get baited? Maybe he queued up feudal age and cancel it again. Right, I'm confused now. Maybe I've gotten baited. Essentially what you can do is... When you queue up feudal age, you lose 50 points. Because it's 500 resources. For example, if I now do loom... Let's wait until we have 500 food, actually. And I'll show you. Should you stonewall your town center? I'm not sure. So if I look at my score now, I can do this. That's going to make it seem like I went to Feudal Age just now. Obviously, I've already, I'm already on the way to Feudal Age. But essentially, you lose 50 points. And that's an indicator that you just spent 500 resources. So you can do mind games there as well. Arabia is shit. I definitely got debated though. Never mind, I did not. I just didn't catch his score jumping again. Oh, that's too much. I'm not even wood upgrade. Could have maybe done wood upgrade, but it is what it is. Biggest concern I have right now is I don't have an eagle to scout the wall. So I don't know what he's going to be doing. I cannot see if he drops a castle or something. What's your favorite player in the Hidden Cup qualifiers? Jordan. And Tato. Wait, Jordan didn't play Hidden Cup qualifiers. Uh, Tato. But no, I didn't really watch the Hidden Cup qualifiers much. So, can't really say. You know who thinks for 10 months? Go doubt, you say. Okay, we need a monastery relatively forward to collect some reliques, and that's going to be my scouting intel as well. Make a barracks in a second eagle. I don't have loom though, and this map has usually a lot of wolves. You gotta be a bit careful with that as well. Yeah, he has not sold a stone, which to me implies that he's planning to do a castle. Whether that's correct or not, I cannot say. But I think so. Sudden death, for those who still aren't aware of what sudden death is, you can only ever, like you see, I, I don't have access to building a new town center. So with sudden death, you only have one town center, and the win condition and lose condition is losing your town center. Or destroying your opponent's town center, rather. That's how you win the game, that's how you lose the game. My TC gets destroyed, I'm dead. And I cannot add a secondary or third or whatever TC, right? Alright, I'm surprised my score is higher than his, given that I have no scouting in until whatsoever. My eco management is good, but I can't be that much better than him. Come on. Could be that he's like spending on like a castle and things like that at the moment. Do all the eco upgrades. I don't think it's a fast imp by him, given that he went up so fast. 
Could be chemistry, could be... Could be... Uh, just the monk rush as well. Go toe-to-toe -to -toe with monks. Not unheard of for bohemians. I have safe delete, so don't worry, I'm not gonna delete my TC by accident like that. Okay, let's see if we can get some scouting intel here. Okay. Well, that makes this easy. Hello? Wait, what? What in the... What? Yeah, I know exactly what he's doing, by the way. He's doing monks and uh, this. So he's gonna also just do... Conver like, he forced me now to do... Um, redemption to deal with one Hussite wagon. And what he's gonna do is just make now full monks. It is a good strategy. Like, I essentially have to waste 400 gold to take out one Hussite wagon. Or like 475, whatever redemption is. However... He still spends 600 and whatnot uh, gold on a stone on the castle. So it's not that crazy. Don't forget Loom. I don't really need it. He doesn't have units that kill my bills. There's going to be a lot of monks. So you guys got to be ready for that. This is going to be a mess. Time to see how good Doubt's Monk Micro is. And mine as well, for that matter. Okay, how many monsters can we afford? Can we go five? He has one extra relic than me. He was able to take one of them. Not sure if I'm ready yet to <laughs> fight, though. I think with five, I'll, I will dare. Heresy is a thousand gold. Is it crazy to do cancel everything and do heresy? It is crazy, because if he has 10 monks, he can still kill all my monks. Is it crazy? Just go heresy? Oh, he's going imp. Oh, shit. Uh... I cannot allow a four castle. How the hell do we deal with this? You know what? Could be a key here. He might not have. You know what? I'm going to try to fight this. In... Can I fight this in Castle Age? I don't think I can. He doesn't have redemption, most likely. So if I do some Inganels, that could prevent him from coming forward. I'm so not sure what I want to do here. I guess we go in, but I'm also going to do heresy. Not sure if that's a good idea, but I'm committed. I'm going to be so much later to him, though. This is going to be ugly. He can destroy all my buildings and whatnot. Maybe I want to force some engagements now. Just waiting for imp. Which makes sense. What I cannot allow is a forward castle. That he can start chubbing down my my uh, my stuff. We also we want him to invest the gold into redemption as well. Oh god, that's so many monks. You know what? Let's do let's do this. Behind. And we do heresy. And so we want to bait him forward with his monks, and then I'll send my mangonels in. Because I'm pretty sure he does not have redemption. But I will do heresy. And then I will also make eagles. It's a risky play. I think we have to do something. 
That's a spearman. Not need those. We want his monks to come forward. Oh, there they are. So yeah, let's find out if he has heresy or not. Uh, not heresy. Let's see. Ah, he doesn't. He has to go back. Look. Yeah, do heresy before you come forward, sir. If there's a trap coming, I will be scared as well. Let's get forging. Wait, why are you going all so far back? Oh, this is buying so much time. That's actually so sick. He's buying us so much time. Just the fact that he has to do heresy there. Uh, redemption here before he comes forward. What? What's that? Why are you there, Doubt? Why are you not coming forward? <laughs> oh, this is so good. Make redemption, Doubt! You know the rules. Oh, someone did redemption. I'm not gonna delete, although he might realize that I have heresy if, if I don't. Okay, no, he, now he knows anyway, or he should know anyway. He's coming forward with a trap. How many eagles? At what point are we ready with eagles? That's going from monastery, so TC is not under fire yet. Okay, we send some eagles to come in from behind. The thing is though, even if I destroy his army now, game is still not over or anything because I don't have anything to kill his army with. Okay. <laughs> I'm also kind of excited for the fight just to see how it's going to play out. I think no matter what, he can always transition to hand cannons, whatever. This is always going to be a very uphill battle for us. If he has hostiles, you die. No, I have redemption. I can convert as well. <gasps> There's the relic. Oh, he's falling back. Falling back a lot. The relic was there. I mean, I could go for his... Is it? Is it out? You're gonna just sit there with your traps? We have a big army now. With regards to okay, he's coming, he's coming. Okay, the time will be right soon. We just want him to commit far far enough forward. The second he sieges up his traps to start hitting my castle is when we go in. Or my town center. I think he's already going. All right. Wish us luck. I have no idea where the hell this is going to go. Wait, he has heresy as well. Oh, I'm not repairing. Take the trips, take the trips, take the trips, take the trips. Oh, I forgot to repair my town. I'm dead. <gasps> I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm dead. I'm alive. Wait, is he missing? I feel like I should be taking more damage there. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, there you go. <laughs> uh, okay. Now we build our own castle. Uh, I'm not sure how I survived that. It did feel like... It did feel like... Can you convert a siege tower from distance? I'm not sure. It did feel like, like his hits were missing or something. Probably hit my bills. Oh yeah, that could be. Maybe that's what happened. That was interesting. Yeah, you guys can go take some wood. You guys get into the siege tower. I need a trap. 
Oh. Ah, second castle, that's bad. Does he do a quick wall? Oh, the villas are so fat, they're blocking. Oh, you can convert it from distance. Yeah, we're still dead there, I think. Yeah, I wanted to convert my... My siege tower. I just want to go straight through to his eco, I guess. Siege tower, let's go. I uh, can't also dive on his. Wait, isn't this? I can just jump over the wall. This is the point. This is the purpose of a siege tower, though. <laughs> it's literally the first purpose. <laughs> Oh! Wow, that was quick walled. I've never seen that before. Oh, oh! Oh, does he get it? Does he get it? Oh, he didn't get it. It, looked, it was cute, though. Trap! Get the trap! Yes! Okay, does he, where's his economy? Screw those wagons. Go for economy. If we get this castle, I'll be very happy. Looks like we're gonna get it. He should also be taking a big hit to his economy. Uh, I think this is something we compete with, as in we repair the castle and we treb against his treb. I don't think there's a chance he would have been able to got like chemistry to make bomber cannons. So as long as his castle is down, we can treb this castle as well. Mm, let's just back off here. I don't know how we're winning this. We should never have won this. Not over still, but... I guess our... The strategy we went for, or the reaction was... In the end, really, really good. He also must have taken a lot of equal damage now. From uh, the Eagles. Egalos! Hoovering in his economy! Just how he wanted. <laughs> I actually am still in shock that we won this game. My, my Townsend was so close to dying. <laughs> Needs to switch the target. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I don't even have Theo Theo Croc Corsi. What do you call it? He's dead! I can't believe he won this game. Let's just go for his town center, eh? We have four traps. We go for the kill. It's giving you can cancer through. Yeah, we need still to be. Clever with converting... Uh, why can't I deselect? Converting the wagons. That's going to be the key here. The wagons are the danger. Right now. I think we have enough. I don't have a lot of monks left. We have more coming. No, traps are really good against wagons as well. Let's take his trap, because there's no way he can build another one. Agarlos in my economy. Alright, I think it's time to go for the final Urhuza, whatever you call it. Let's go. pulling everything i don't care i'm going for it this is it <laughs> this is it we are going for the kill we are no let me destroy the tc oh. 
Let me destroy the town center. Why not? <laughs> that was fun. Uh, they don't expect it to go go like that. Are wagons viable these like days? That. Yeah, they are. They're very good. Um, but of course, within reason. This was to like the, the thing with the wagon is like if you're playing against in a monk war, if you play wagons, I think his mistake was going like it's weird to say that his mistake was going imp, right? What he could have done in this game, instead of spending those 1800 resources on imp, he could have just like the first Hussard wagon forced me to do redemption. Secondly, that's 400 and what is it 75 or 25? It's 475 gold. That alone is me spending 500 gold on something that he invested. Of course, he invested a stone to break through and everything. It's just one Hussard wagon, right? Um, he could have just gone full monks after that with the convert the monk upgrade and push right away, right? That would push me back so much. And then what he could have done, university, chemistry, add like three ranges and do hand cannoners behind that as well. I don't know, maybe it's not good. But I think the the what we what we did here with the pincer, eagles from the top, eagle from the bottom, and the monks in the middle. I mean, I thought my TC was going down, but yeah, it seems like some villagers were tanking hits, to keep the TC alive. It's it's weird I didn't even process that he was shooting my town center at the start. I started repairing way too late. But hey, it worked out, so I can't complain. Oh, did he say? Oh, wait, wait, wait! I need to see this. He says bye bye viper. One more shot. Oh, let's go! I want to see this. Watch full. Okay, okay, okay. Watch. Let's watch. All right, this is where we're. We want to see his POV here. Fade before the fight. Wait, he even did faith, or is he thinking that I was waiting for faith? Yeah, this is what the quality content we, we want to see. Oh, he's actually going for faith. Damn, I didn't expect him to go for faith. That's expensive. What's nice with Bohemians as well is <laughs> so you get so many monks. You get the mining upgrades for free. I cannot micro this. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> Who converts what? <laughs> I'm hyped. His trap missed a hit and you should have died. Uh, someone said, like, it looked like they missed, but someone said my villagers were tanking. Because I had vills under the TC, they might have been actually eating the hit. That's not a lot of monks. Maybe he's switching to eagles. Oh, yeah? You think so? He has, wait, does he have every monk on the same control group? <laughs> I have way more than him. Does he really? Every monk on control group one. <laughs> Ooh, but I killed TC. Why didn't they do that right away? Just rush the TC. I, I completely forgot. He, yeah. he has to engage now. He yeah. forgot as well. I did not yeah, forget. It. I did not forget. Oh, eagles are coming. Egalos! Egalos! But maybe I can kill the TC. Yeah, I, I thought I was dead here. I think I killed the TC. He's repairing now. He Let's see. What's up. I have wheels underneath. One more oh, shot. Oh god, I was so close. Bye bye, Viper. Bye bye, Viper. Oh, he survives. <laughs> god damn it, Viper. Sorry about that. I completely forgot about that. I was killing Monas since I gave him the time. <laughs> oh, so stupid. God. What? That was so bad. Uh, watching things that went against doubt after he was so confident on his POV is beautiful. Uh, Dave just rewatched it. It hit the vill. Or my town center. Whoa! Kippo is! Gifting 10 subs. Let's see. The hell this is well. So let's watch under our TC here. We have what? Right now we have five vills under the town center. Oh, I forgot to repair my town center. Okay, that that hit was on a villager, so we we saved a lot of HP there. I'm alive. Yeah, we lost one of the hits. I'm alive. A villager tanked one of the hits. Oh, a villager tanked again. I'm alive. Oh my god, my villagers are heroes. Talk about taking one for the team, eh? Keep away, thank you so much for ten gifted subs. Oh, 
Obese frog with the two months. Uh, yeah, two months obese frog. Thank you. Uh, Seduce with the nine months. X Jades with the three months. Noob Netrum with the three months. Omer To with the twenty nine months. You know who with the ten months. Thanks again. Are we surprised for Lira playing solo handcuff? No, no loom to protect from a trebuchet. That's uh, true. I didn't even give them loom, and they had to tank trebuchet hits. It's kind of fun watching you go from I'm dead to I'm alive. Well, like in my head, the trebuchet shots were supposed to kill me, right? But yeah, the villager tanks were insane. <laughs> I'm good, Rita Ross. How about you? Uh, Socotra, what was my save here? So we have this. Um, he's probably going to use Teutons here. The wall was a win. Suburb was a, what a, was a win. Uh, he sniped Byzantines. What do I use here then on Canberra? Do I go Koreans or Turks on Canberra? I guess we can go Turks on Canberra. Oh, Turks on Canberra, win water, go 17 range cannon galleons? I might be thinking too far ahead there, but... Oh, he has Spanish for Canberra. True. Spanish is Canberra? Or is it Dravidians, maybe? Or maybe Burmese? Oh god, I'm confused now, I don't know what it is. We do Khmer and Socotra. Koreans on Zakatra. Khmer or Habub. And then Turks or Celts for Canberra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. Wait, so what's it uh, say now? Koreans, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Koreans. Yeah, people just passing. Ima Mudoglu. Thank you for the five months. Wouldn't want to survive a trap shot. Fair. The game was like our. I do regret starting reading comments sometimes. Yes. Oh, wait, he's using Spanish on Socotra? I thought Spanish was for the other map. Uh. Wait, so, oh, so Teutons might be for Canberra then. Mm, that could be it. I think we just tower rush here, don't we? Looks like a net. Wait, is there water on the outside? Shouldn't be, right? We shouldn't have access to it anyway, that's what I'm trying to say. Maybe I'm wrong. Wait, this is Socotra, right? Feels so big. Oh, this hill. <laughs> I do not want to be against this hill. With a castle there. I'm scared of that. Gonna send some bills to start quick balling. And having fun with that. Very soon. Is he pushing, stealing my zebra? Bastard is stealing my zebra. Doubt, doubt, doubt. I thought better of you. Steal another man's zebra. Hope his TC isn't there. Ah, oh, shit. I will get it back. It's coming home. All right, let's find some some way to lame out. Force him to react to some quick balls and such. Oh, he's sending a will. Let's go. Where are you running? Does he have loom yet? Oh, he does. Yeah, this is fine. Oh, that's not fine. <gasps> no. 
No, you didn't out. No, you didn't. Of course you did. I knew he would be busy quick walling the or fighting the scout. We would have had time. We would have time. We would have time to quick wall his villager. All right, let's just wall him in for for good. Let's kill this guy. I want to bait him around to come there. Kill my villager. Then I can wall and run here and then I can wall myself into this corner. Oh! oh. Shit, I'm housed. He's coming with more. It's not a good plan to be housed right now. Is he laming me? He has a villager here. This guy and his laming. No respect. Oh, shit. We escaped. And he's losing a villager. <laughs> this is about how I was expecting this to go, to be honest. This is personal now. <laughs> it's so personal. Oh, no. <laughs> right. I, I saw a chance. I went for it. I had to. What does 1 1 mean? Uh, 11 is the taunting, the taunt of laughing in Age of Empires. So if someone writes 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1, they're laughing a lot. If they type 1 1 1, they're laughing an a decent amount. And 1 1 is the normal laugh, if you will. I think we just go a few ledge now. You want to eat some of my deer? I mean, fine, I'm full anyway. I am full. Come on, Doubt. Yeah, eat that deer. <laughs> Sharing is caring. Show it in game. Maybe later. It's no ob <laughs> this wall is messing with his pattern. It's no obvious weak point for him to tower. Guess targeting the berries will never be bad. Six villagers. So you'll leave five on stone. Three on berries. Four on berries. Mm -hmm. be good. He is on the berries. Now the next question is... I wanted to aggro it away, so I... Wait, how far is it going? Okay. Um... This hill is obviously massive long term. Oh. See if he's pulling bills. And he is. It's important to have enough wood to build houses or palisades. In this, in case his reaction is that. He's gonna wall up and go fast castle. So let's continue. What's the next target? DC range is there, so let's do a tower there. Mm -hmm. 
This one he could rush down because he would have the defense or help from the town center to shoot down my walls. Ah, this feudalish. He might play feudal defense. Never mind. And it's not straight fast castle. Pipe is taking this game super personal. Oh, oh wait, this is a super fast castle. Into a castle drop. Oh, this is gonna be ugly. Which means he has a stone inside there, right? He has to. Could do the beefy tri trick. But it's doubt, so he's not even trying to wall behind it. And if he can do castle edge at this speed, I took him off the berries. He can still get to castle edge like this. I need to destroy one more palace side because he could wall me off potentially. If he can just go up and do conks, I'll be in big trouble. Unless he's buying stone with that. Because when I look at my base, I don't have stone in my base. See one stone there. Let's just force him to repair forever anyway. This is Age of Empires, guys. Peak Age of Empires. Hey, doubt! Come on, what are you doing? This is not how we play. This is... Uh, I think he was done with this. <laughs> He had enough. <laughs> he had enough. That's why we opened the second uh, one, by the way. Because otherwise I wouldn't be able to escape here. Yeah, let's just go up. We're gonna act as we're containing a tower rush, but I'm idling my teeth to go up. Even just getting these two towers up in Castle Age, like it's gonna force his castle to be defensive because he cannot um, just leave guard towers around his base steal his stone he might have to just hope we have time and can he afford a castle I think that's why he wanted to fight here as well wait why is he scouting me forward is he sending Vils 4 to drop a castle on my face? That's what's ha is that what's happening here? Does he have like 10 Vils coming around to drop a castle right on my face? I'm getting paranoid about that now. Come on, wood. Okay. Cancel the Vil. Up we go. I don't see anything so far. I'm very wary of blue things coming into my base. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, shit. Oh, I can't deny that. Does he delete it to build it more forward? Oh, if he does Bodkin, he can reach my town center, I think. Ooh. 
Yeah, I think with Balkan you could reach Matanz. Wait, I, I'm gonna castle drop his space, right? That's how we do this, right? That's the only way to play this, I think. The issue is that he has conks. Petardos? I don't think so. I think the only way to play this is to castle drop his base. But where do I even drop the castle? I mean, I have two guard towers defending here. She's stealing my farms! Come on, Doubt. You don't play like this. I will have two guard towers defending my castle drop. He has done fletching. <laughs> it's happening. I'm actually so excited for this. I am so hyped. Monk? Oh wait, this is gonna be so good. You guys have no idea, I'm actually so excited for what's about to happen right now. I am so excited. I think Viper forgot about sudden death? Does it look like I forgot about sudden death? Does it look like I forgot about sudden death? You think I forgot about sudden death? Wait, what? Ah, don't convert, don't convert, don't convert. I want all my bills. Okay, nice. Well, <laughs> ambulance, not, but not for me. True. Let's go away from this. Don't really need this. Uh, petards, of course. And the thing is, he cannot repair his town center. I can. <laughs> Wait, I don't have wood. I'm making too much of this. Stop that. Repair, repair, repair. He's so dead. <laughs> oh, how the turntables. I need a little bit more food to make one more petard. He's so dead. <laughs> oh! Oh no. Wait. <laughs> uh, wait. Uh, wood, please. Um, hello. Um, hello. Wood, please. Um, hello. Oh, I'm gonna lose. I don't have wood. Why did I? Oh god. <laughs> Shit. You know what? You know how I win this game? Leaving all these villas, taking trees, and just, sure, you convert a village or two. Why do I care? <laughs> Got 300 HP left. And I'm missing like seven food for another petard. So sad. Yeah, I just leave all my villas here repair. I would have had more time to repair. <laughs> what a great game. You're shooting bills with castle? I know, because I thought he had more wood to repair, right? So if I waste time killing, uh, shooting his Tisa while he's repairing, he might stay alive. But then again, his eco obviously was in shambles. So I should have known that he uh, couldn't repair. Uh, uh, uh. Camel Spider, thank you for the four months. Lennon with 22 months, thank you very much. Can I repair my TC? Can't. That's what I thought, but then, yeah, repairing TC is actually so expensive, it's crazy. I don't remember what the math was on it, but yeah, repairing it is super expensive. Why not delete farms to make gates around T TC? Uh, you cannot... He has a castle there. I'm gonna make gates. Make 2-2? Two, two? I don't think the result matters. We're playing five games no matter what. As long as we have fun, that's all that matters. That monk star. Yeah, I, I ran away with so many of my bills just because of one monk. Those bills would have probably collected another 200 wood or so for me to repair my town center if I stayed. Power micro is so funny. <laughs> 
Want pineapple pudding both is empty? If only you could order some of that, you know? If only there was a way to micro against building arrow fire too much APM for IP. Will you be playing at Jon Slow's main tourney? Of course. I've already signed up for that. We're just waiting for Doubt to host. Easy 200 wood and also minus 100%. Yeah, the, the lumber camp as well. We would have possibly won the game in that case. House update. House update is that today we got some great news in that we finally will have our uh, conclusion date with the building construction company. Apparently the woman in charge just like was so busy the last three weeks. She couldn't answer an email from our lawyer. He has been so busy. So, but yeah, uh, next week we're going to have our final day with the construction company and we will... Um, be able to conclude everything. They still have some things they will need to finish, but almost everything with the house is finished. It's just the rollers on our windows are still not functional, and we have some issues with the garage. But otherwise, everything else should be in order. So uh, our move-in date later this month, move-in dates, rather, should be good. Lawyer, something go wrong? Oh, where do we start? <laughs> a lawyer has been on the case for a year already more uh, Himura Shinta thank you for the four months you see Oli on the overlap yeah of course I, I watched it today while I was doing my bookkeeping great thing to have on the side in the second match the Viper placed the Vils near the sound of the TC while appearing in order to protect from traps as meat shield it wasn't something that I thought about in the moment though will there be a house tour I don't think so I don't want to do a house tour potentially because I might show my office. I'm gonna hang up my Lord of the Rings swords in the background. Maybe I buy like some thing where I can showcase. Like, I have a couple of trophies standing right there. Maybe I should buy like a glass cabinet with layers where I can place my trophies. And I can add some cool lighting behind it or something. I don't know. I also need to maybe put some, like right now the back, background is so bland, right? So maybe in my new office I can do some like lighting in the background or something. Have you ever played Witcher 3? Yeah, I have. The picture of doubt behind it. Viper couldn't get wood and lost the game. I couldn't get wood and lost my marriage. Rip. This is what it is, man. Canberra. Wait, so what did I decide on here? He's gonna go Teutons here. I have Khmer, Turks, and Celts. Unless he goes Dravidians here. No, he could go Burmese here, actually. It could be Burmese. Everything has a price. How many subs for house tour? Oof. Oh, now we're talking. You know how to ask the real questions. Uh, Pranval, thanks for the 21 long months. Greetings and grats for your soon ha baby and house. Hope all is going well for you. Thank you very much. Thousand subs. We already have a thousand. Like he's probably asking about the total sub count chats. You have to be careful. Let's go, uh, Turks. My end goal here is to just get cannon galleons in the pond. Because we have cannon galleons with. 15 range, 17 range even. That's my only goal this game. 15 plus 2. So we can range his TC from like a million miles away. I 
I will see. Like like I said, we have had people figuring out where I live and coming outside our house, our, our apartment, because they saw through the wind, like the background. They recognized the background. I want to be careful with how much we show of the outside of the house. I might do like a. I can show my office, obviously. Not a big deal. You would never do that, Kappa. There we go. Pictures, those are easier to control. That is true. Hey, what? Lowering your graphics settings may improve your performance. You can continue playing without doing so. However, you may notice delays when making commands. Graphics settings can be found in the graphics tab. What the hell is going on? <laughs> what is happening here? I'm noticing a proper delay. Dot's already sending a new link, so I guess he dropped or something? <laughs> that was weird. Guys, what happened on Dot's side? Did he just crash or what? Ugh, cannot build a house. Yeah, so it is Burmese as expected, which means probably a Rambai or monks. I'm not sure how I want to approach this. I have a couple of thoughts about how what we can do. Can do like light cap opening to keep him from dropping the castle too far forward or like fast Please. castle with a stable um, but that doesn't bring me a lot closer to my dream of cannon gallons in the pond you don't even need Karen gallons look how close this is you can take this with war galleys that's crazy. You have Wargallus here with plus one. You can reach the town center. Sunny B50, think about five months. Yeah, showing on Vikings, just go full longboats. Fast cast the longboats, win the water, and just bam. I guess monks would counter it. I might even need to do a castle drop myself on the pond, then do a dot. No, he can just go monks with. Uh, Bombard cannons, not bomb cannons. Monks with the Imperial Age range upgrades. What if I just play defensive castle, go fast imp, and do bombard cannons from home as well? He could go trebs and cannons himself. Okay, hear me out. We go fast imp, defensive castle in our base here. We do a seed workshop so we can do bomber cannons. We do plus two range for bomber cannons and cannon galleons. And then we adapt from there. The only issue I have is that he can control the water maybe with with uh with monks. 20 transport ships full of petards. How many petards do we need to take his town center? You do. You do speak in a language I like. But I am also a little bit concerned. Eight. I am a little concerned about if I go fast castle, castle here, make petards, transport. What are the odds? I mean, if there's anyone that's going to work against anyone that won't be able to quick wall, it's probably doubt. Let's be real. Oh, 
I'm actually really tempted to do that now. That sounds really fun. Uh, so we just go fast castle and petards into a transport ship and we try to land him. That sounds so risky. Let's do it. It will maybe be glorious or a full disaster. One way or the other or another, it's going to be one of those. We're going to go out in style from this game. Where is three fishing ships? I only have two. My build was a bit changed. Okay, so it's not, not, not a fast imp, at least. We could always fall back on the a different strategy in case it ends up. I mean, can we fall back on different strategy? Actually, I don't know. How to get close to deer without killing them? I mean, with, with the scout, you the scout is coded to not attack the deer anyway. So a scout cannot, like you cannot click a deer and attack it with a scout. With auto military, you can use follow hotkey. You can also hold alt while clicking, which will ignore the foundation underneath. We have multiple options in terms of how to potentially approach it. We have a nice low elo mining camp here. Not very effective though. If I do it there though, that's gonna be good. Cross just do it there. Just do it there. Went fast fuel age. That's the also a problem now. I might not have control over water to do a transport ship. But maybe we can control it with ministers or something. Throw some quick wall macros. I ain't got those, I'm sorry. Hopefully I have enough food to him. Oh god, this is scary. Need to make sure he doesn't get inside or catch my deer pushing. I could go and try and drop a castle here, for example, as well. To try and win water with a castle drop. Okay, we're definitely gonna have enough food. And again, we are gonna cast it up in our base anyway. Is that humble? I would say yes. One demo maybe to, to attack that. Look at this guy microing. All this fish is stuck, that can, that can still be pretty good. Do I get another? No. Oh wait, he doesn't protect them, at least. Boom! Do I have enough on stone, even? Not sure. Looks like a monk transition or market transition. 
Yeah, we do need a healthy amount of food though for petards. Oh, he already used to mark a lot. Holy cow. He has bought like four times. He might be on the way to cast this himself. I'll make like one or two Janissaries to try and like push his fire ships away from the water while we try and prepare the, the ships. This could be glorious. An absolute glorious strategy. You wanna wait for a light cav? Endless fish, uh, it has 30,000 in total when the game starts. Yeah, I think the mining camp in here is actually working out perfect. Yeah, my concern now would be where does he build his castle? Unless it's just for monks. If I build mine here now. Yeah, don't do wood upgrade. Ah, petards aren't that expensive. It's fine. He has like monks. Let me see the stone. He has mined one stone from that one. I'm still not... Okay, there's a... Ca ah, he's doing it on the pond though. But next question. How many petards to take down a, a castle? <laughs> Why not fast imp? We might have to switch to fast imp. He's gonna have a castle there. Is it 8 for a castle? No. 10, 11, 12? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure about this. I will lose my dog though. I'm not sure where to take this. I do feel like he's gonna go fast imp as a follow-up. I'm still kind of tempted to just go full petards. With monks or whatever. Oh, with the uh, transports. I'm still probably gonna do it, because I'm an idiot. Never go full petard. Unless when you do. I might have to still make some Denisaris though, since he's got the Arambai. Could also do like three transports with. Okay, okay, listen, okay. <laughs> have an idea. We make like three transports. We fill, put one villager in like two of them, and then all the petards in one transport. And we pray. <laughs> Thoughts? Uh, you cannot fit um, petards in siege towers. Unfortunately. All right. The. The journey has begun. Now we just gotta pray that he doesn't... I should have gone fast, Imp. We gotta pray that he doesn't pick up on it. I'll just play very defensive for the time being. Just controlling relics for now. I'm still hyped. It is a big commitment though. Janissaries only have two more range now than a Rambai. <gasps> Took the relic. Brought the relic closer to my town center or to my base. It's pretty nice. Come on, come on, come on. 
Oh, they're so inaccurate. Yeah, we have two transports. Maybe we do. Let's do more. We we'll do like five. <laughs> Put one unit in each, so he won't know. Wait, he's on the way to imp, guys. He's imping. How do we pull his attention away from this, by the way? He is on the way to imp. Can I not kill him? I really hope he doesn't see my transport. Oh, he probably had vision of it, doesn't he? He might be able to wall it now. I think that messed up the whole plan. I don't think it's gonna work anymore. He will see this, he can prepare demos. Demos. Well, safe to say we're going to be on a timer. We have 13 petards. We'll prepare a follow-up as well as of after. It's time. If he doesn't have time to a quick wall to react to this, I'll be embarrassed for on his half. Go! 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 Oh, wait, you regroup! Pathing! Pathing is screwing me over! It's happening! Victoria! <laughs> <laughs> Victoria! Ah, uh, whoever gave that strategy in chat, you should be VIP of the channel. So that much. Victoria! <laughs> um. Even here, we saw the regrouping, right? All the petards that were here wanted to go back and regroup over there before they went forward. <sighs> like, within this happiness, I'm also still extremely sad knowing that what happened there. <laughs> what a masterpiece. Yo, Haskell Logolo, gifting five subs. Thank you so much. Is it because I selected transport? No, I double clicked my petards and clicked there. And they still went back. I don't remember the name of the person who suggested this. Artisan, thanks for the four months. Power Day with the Prime. Sonny B50 with the five months. Eh, maybe I select the transport as well, but even then, like, they shouldn't go back. Oh, I'm so happy about that. Can someone send me Dal's POV? I'll need to see it from his POV. Another five. Ask good luck with it. Thank you so much. Was it Versing? Versing 9, was it you? Let's see. Chat log, chat log.
But someone else said something else before you. Didn't they? You said cannon gallons and bomber cannon galleys. No, you're not. Your chat, your message is not correct. It wasn't you. Why are you trying to bait? It was him? But when I'm opening his chat log, it doesn't say that. He was actually sad that he messed up. Nice. Uh, Foggy Frog getting five subs as well. Thank you so much. I'm so happy that it worked. <laughs> oh. Just VIP the whole chat. John Slow having a good show much, I bet. For sure. I need to see Dal's POV of that. I need to see Dal's POV. Some say that has a bonus with transport ship garrison capacity. Uh, yeah, Saracens do. It's crazy how fast you need to come up with the idea. Matt in the turn. All right, let's see. Hello. He saw my dock, right? Uh, Wait, he actually didn't see it. Oh, dig. that's huge. The Janissary he converted actually didn't see the dock. I thought it saw the dock. Yeah, that's only he only sees the castle so far. Actually, cannon gallery. Maybe. Let me see. It's still not there. Okay. No, he did not see the dock. Okay. He agrees. Uh. Yeah. Let's see. When? Uh, when is the moment? Oh, it's happening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This is probably not a uh, gates is probably not the way to do it. Because when I destroy a gate, I get four tiles. I like the attempt. Oh fuck! <laughs> Ooh, I'm dead. Castle shoot 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 shoot. Castle shoot 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 shoot. Oh look at that big grouping. Castle shoot! I'm dead. Why is Castle not shooting? I'm dead. He's <laughs> toying with me. I've lost this game. Oh god damn it! Ooh, this hurts. <laughs> These curves. Oh. Ah, the explosion was looking good. I was <laughs> too confident. You overmarked his castle and not shooting. Yeah, maybe. Oh. That uh. Love it. <laughs> it's FIBA, is the guy, is he? I need, I need to see him in chat though. Tsviba, Tsviba. GG, that was epic. It truly was. It was a lot of fun. This is going to be referred to in every GL TeamSpeak trash talk now. <clears throat> Great, you make this game fun. We try to have fun here. It is Sviba. How do I check his chat log? Uh, Sviba. Oh, user. User. Like that. Ah, okay, let me see. Messages. Uh, 20 transport ships full of petards. I think that was it. I think that was the message that triggered me. It's via about new, new VIP in the channel. Uh, I really find it funny that he thought you were messing with him when it was Pat. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but he probably, he, I mean, like, I didn't have eight. I didn't have eight petards when I attacked. His town center, and I still went down. I don't know. Okay, he has... Let's go, since we already won the show match, let's go Celts for the last one. And go full Juan. All the moderating I'm getting from you for today? What? I already vip him myself. You're trying to take credit for that.
Dave's reaction is beautiful. Let's find it. Uh, Twitch, Dave, AOE, videos, past broadcast. Okay. <laughs> Today will be the day, men. We sail <laughs> to victory. The demo was there in case he had like a ramble. Today is the day. In case he had a ramble on the shallows, for example, yeah. I could snipe. <laughs> Yo, Kevin. Love all the content. Anyone else who watches everything Viper puts out should throw <laughs> dad to be some dollar. Unload! Quick! Kill it! Kill the gate! Quick! <laughs> no! Where are you going? <laughs> Wait, that is four, five, six, seven. Whoa! <laughs> Member reaction as well. I mean, we're just doing the tour here. Who else is it casting? Worked. Margugu is casting. Hero is tryharding. Unbelievable. Hero is tryharding. We're doing this. <laughs> it worked. He's speechless. Why did he GG? It's sudden death, bro. It's Why did he GG? <laughs> So if you <laughs> what did he GG? I heard Debbie laughing through the through the wall. What did he GG? Uh Kevin, 18 is that twenty dollars? It is converting to euros for me, but I think that's twenty dollars. Love all the content. Anyone else who watches everything Viper puts out should throw the dead to be some dollaros. That's not how it works, Kevin, but thank you very much. I appreciate the, the donation. For me, it's more than enough support that you're watching. And of course, at some point, if the support would go far enough down that I couldn't make a li living from this anymore, we might become a bit more desperate. But uh, yeah, just like my, my whole business model is to make good enough content that if you can, you would want to support it in order to help me keep going. You know, that's how we're trying to approach this. I know it's sudden death, but why did it GG though? Exactly. Uh, someone watching stream sees one one and asks if they're allowed. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, are we allowed here? Saw from your stream. <laughs> True. All right, let's see. It's going to be Kels against Dravidians. In which case, he will have a massive civ advantage with Dravidians, of course. But uh, I feel like he will go Teutons to Tower Rush. So you know what's a good counter to the tower rush? Kelt, Scorps, and Rams. Oh, he saw it on our stream? Yeah, then he's, then he's of course welcome. I didn't want to take Fox Square. I thought Vike was talking about additional transports to hide. Ah, okay. Well, that's something I came up with myself, so I'm sorry. Great minds think alike. So we're both just very smart, versing. But at least you're smart, so you can take some credit there. Do a Huang. Uh, that's low-key kind of what we're going to try. I'm going to do a, a variation of it, though, that makes sure... Actually, do I... He's tower rushing. I guess the brush doesn't even make sense. I think it's just straight castlage, right? Full Huang, right? All the way. I think so. Exactly, being as smart as Viper is something. That could be interpreted in multiple ways. I'm gonna assume it's meant in a positive way. Uh, what's a Huang? Uh, a Huang is... How do we... Chat, help, help explain Huang. Someone else explain it. Help ETC, well... He's probably gonna ask how how what do you mean by that? <laughs> I do agree with the, the statement though. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't remember at all how, how Huang does it though. So I'm not sure how many deals we need on wood and all of that good stuff. Bondages ETC as well. Someone asked earlier in chat if I love you or what, since I'm in most of your streams. <laughs> it can never win, right? In Hidden Cup it was Viper confirmed because you were not watching the stream. Now it's like, do you even love him? Or actually, no, never mind. Now there are people are asking if you love me because you're in too many of my streams. Ay, ay, ay. Do you? Good question. Only concern I have is if you go straight to tower rush my wood line. To eat the thesis, I'm kind of dependent on wood. You make army, you make castleage, you make a few mango and scorps, and sometimes ram too. Yeah, essentially it's like an, a super fast castleage where you go for a seed rook shop with like maybe one spear, maybe one knight, maybe a monk, and then you make like rams and scorpions, and you just try to kill the guy before he gets to castleage himself, where he would have tech that to deal with you, right? Because Kelt Siege is very good against few days units. Surprisingly, so. <laughs> Was there not another deer? Guess not. Uh, have you ever think about to be very professional in one sieve like Huang but not Kelts? I think playing only one sieve would bore the hell out of me. The amount of variety and different ways to play Age of Empires depending on the sieves is in insane. So to just go like full one sieve is something I would never ever consider. Purely because I want to have fun and be entertained. And I feel like that goes against that very idea. I'm fine taking the taking the fight. Health ETC doesn't need a scout. What's the village account we go up with? Wait, why does it feel like no? They need to make it that if this is the case, both scouts die. You need that. Wipe when you play Amigo Wars. Uh tomorrow. Tomorrow at 17 GMT. No. Yes. Is it? Maybe. Tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow we play Amigo Wars, the first round. We need to make our farm somewhat to the back. I'm gonna put one more villain berries probably. Because we are expecting a tower rush. We wanna make sure the farms are not too forward towards these towers. And we wanna eat the berries before they get tower rush to death. Do I even do a loom? Wang does loom, right? More on gold to buy other resources. I will transition after I eat the elephant. Just want to make sure I make as little food as possible rot. On eight. So we need a market blacksmith. Sell our stone, of course. I think we're on a good path. We have still have five sheep as well. Maybe I didn't even need the two farms. What's Eagle Wars? I assume you mean Eagle Warriors. Where are the villagers? Where is the tower? I'm expecting it, expecting it. It's gonna be feudalized very soon. Mm -hmm. And the first tower is probably on the bears somewhere. Although his scout, I haven't seen the scout around here, so you might not know my bears are there yet. Unless it's going straight for the woodline. Like, if he walls in my villas and towers the woodline, I'm obviously insta GG. But I am very curious as to where his stuff is right now. Can maybe afford a barrack even before I do my market blacksmith. What is he doing? Where is Doubt? I feel like this right now. I uh, feel like there is a tower coming there. I think. 
What other reason does he have for his scout to be there right now? So actively scouting. Archers? The hell is this? You're Teutons, man. Oh, I, I, I don't even have to sell my stone. Maybe I can build a tower on my woodline. Isn't this great? Because Kelt eat Archer? This should be great for me. In my eyes, Celts do eat Archer. Not a Fletching, though. We have enough gold to make some Scorpions. This is fine. Oh. I think I have to do a tower in the wood. The gold will buy a little bit of time. While I get the tower up. It's pathing. Why does he go back? Putin's going archers are is almost as weird as going Aztecs on islands. I don't know many people that would do that. Wang him? Do I do a forward sea workshop? How forward can we do it? Villager is low HP. With this archer we could trap and kill potentially. See if he's paying attention or not. Stupid by me. We have to stay. The monastery. And a few more villas over there. What's his follow up though? He did sell his stone, so there's no towers coming. Wait, I'm doing monks against Teutons. That's kind of dumb, isn't it? I would consider that pretty dumb. Oh, he has a stable. Oh no. Oh no. Safe to say, Huang has not gone well so far. I feel like we got hard countered. It's almost like he knew what was coming. I don't understand how, though. That's a still continued conversion, right? Continued conversion forever. This is fine, this is fine. Just continue. You will find a, a night to convert. I trust you. Yes, continued conversion. <laughs> Monks just never lose lose their conversions conversion juice anymore. Look at this micro nerd. Of course, Celts still eat TC though, right? He has very few upgrades. We have to find a way to eat this TC. Okay, we, oh, double monastery? Oh. Look at this micro god. I am Teutons! I had the Teuton Knight! Insta convert! Okay, at least he's wasting that. Uh, oh, one more, one more, one more. One more, one more. You can do it. Okay, we kill the archers. I'm committed. Both of them, both of them. We kill both. We kill both. Ah, 
I'm committed. I'm committed. No, I'm not committed. I was committed. Oh, if only I could get my my scorpions onto the. Uh, I do a ram. Let's do a ram. I could get my scorpions on top of the wounded knights. Why are we not eating anything? Well, things happened, okay. But made it hard to eat harder to eat things. Oh, oh, there are some low HP guys in here. Line them up. He could just jump on this, honestly. <laughs> Although, he doesn't have good upgrades on those. I'm on top of this. Okay, we need to form a circle around the monks. Keep the monks safe. At all cost. Wild Kelt. Uh, that's not how you eat TC, man. I feel like he's going to counterattack me, though. Okay, now we just eat a TC. Well, not TC, but the monastery. Uh, we need this because he's gonna counterattack. We have two monks here. Oh no. He's converting TC. Uh, he's converting the siege. He did not counterattack. He went for the kill instead. Oh shit, now he has Kelts. Kelts Scorps to eat TC. I don't think I got a single conversion, did I? Well, shit. Turns out Kelt don't eat Teuton TC. He's probably mega devoted as well. Oh no. Micro out, out micro, out micro! Out to micro, out to everything! Approach ACMs. No, ACM would have played on here. He would have started adding town centers. Yeah, I think uh, I think my strategy was maybe a little bit too predictable. L slightly, slightly predictable. Just a little bit. It is what it is. But for those who aren't aware, this was a show match to promote the um, Sudden Disaster Tournament. Sudden Death Tournament hosted by John Slow that is starting. I think signups close tomorrow. So if you guys want to take part in a tournament like this, Sudden Death, uh, check out... I should have had links prepared. Uh, sudden Disaster. I'm finding it, I'm finding it. There we go. If you want to check out the tournament, everything is on the Wikipedia page. The link to his Discord, whatever, all the information how to sign up, you can find on his Discord. So do check it out. I had a lot of fun in this show match. And I'm sure the tournament will be a lot of fun as well. So uh, we're, we're all hyped for that. This is definitely... Things get pretty wild in Sudden Death. That's all I can say. <laughs> Greedy Huang is more all win. Um, I think the circumstances here were different though. Very short rush distance, which meant his, like him to opening a few archers could idle a lot of my resources. Woodline is super far away, so you cannot... Defend wood and gold at the same time, for example. Uh, it's Huang is probably more deadly on rush, rush distance, of, for example, uh, Arabia. But then again, yeah, I didn't go as all in because I saw I built a tower instead of selling my stone and such. Huang also does sometimes like a range opening where he makes like one or two skirms and one archer just to keep himself a little bit safe in the opening. And then he does sell his stone. What's the rules for tourney, tourney rules for Sudden Death? Is it a deathmatch tournament? No, Sudden Death is you have one town center, you cannot build more town centers. And if you lose that town center, you're dead. You have to resign, like, like the game is over. That is your lose condition, losing your town center. Oh yeah, true, he also has Teuton anti-conversion, yeah. Going against Lix who wins. I would give Lix the favor, but you never know. Uh, Ventilator, thank you for the five months. Ben5604 with the Prime. Uh, let's find some Rage Forest, shall we? That was a really fun show match, though. Thanks to... Um, thanks to... Um, thanks to John Slow. Send you a link to his channel. 
Thanks to John Slow for hosting it. All right, uh, what's next? Rage, is there a rage lobby? Please be a rage lobby or a Norman lobby. I'm fine with either. Oh, there is a rage lobby. There is a rage lobby indeed. Oh, there's a, wait, ah, oh, shit. There's a Nomad lobby as well. Guys, Nomad or Rage? There is a lobby in both. There's one spot left in, left in a Nomad. I try, I try, I try. These are like Xbox players. I guess they were not supposed to be there. But my fear of losing out on the spot was false. Nomad is better. I think Nomad lobby will stop earlier, so let's do Nomad before they stop, and then we have a chance to do a Rage maybe after. I'm gonna grab something to drink quickly, so I'll be right back. Give me just two, two three minutes. They don't need support. They're ramps. He, he was just gonna go full siege ram. Oh shit. Wait. That's a lot of siege ram. <laughs> How you gonna stop this, man? How you gonna stop this? I guess booming at the siege ram is insane here. How to stop onagers from being existing? Take out the siege workshop. That's the way. A few moments later. Look at his base. <laughs> his base is erased. There's nothing left. Nice base, black wood lines. Kind of safe wood lines in the back. And also two golds safely towards the back. So it looks like a very nice map for Doubt. <gasps> what? Wait, Doubt doesn't have loom. You're going to lose your villagers, Doubt. Stop it. You're losing villagers. <gasps> I can't say I like this feeling too much. Full scheisse! The glaze there as well. Why is everyone here, man? You're dead. Uh, guys! We got this, we got this. Guys! Where's my You're team? Dead. Where's my team? You're dead. Where's my team? It's full. Uh, can you actually send some cavalry here? Oh. They're joking, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, would be a nice cleanup. Whew! The torsion engines, baby! Oh! The torsion engines, baby! <laughs> He's losing like all his pikemen to just bomb a cannon. Good start. Oh, I love it. I even Fun went game. for elite cannon galleons, but not for <laughs> elite. <laughs> Viper doesn't oh, yeah. have bloodlines on his Manganai? No, I did. Did I not? Oh, maybe I didn't actually. Viper! <laughs> oh. oh. Because oh, I remember. Wars are elite, oh, you know what? Maybe, uh, yeah. It's Cause, not worse. Because <laughs> I remember it clicking is. the stable and I clicked husbandry, but I couldn't afford bloodlines. I may have never gone back and confirmed bloodlines. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Viper, man. <laughs> Rip. Let's do that. I, th I still think we're fine. We have to. Yeah, we're back. What's the Discord server link for this lobbies? Uh, Rageforest.net. Check the website. Rageforest.net. There will be a link there. How's Jordy? He's good. He has taken up MMA. Sorry for late, but congrats to you both on the baby. Well, thank you, Ricky. Appreciate that. Really? Yeah, I'm not sure if he's like planning to have fights or anything, but he's he's working out during doing MMA. Man was inspired during NSE. Yep. I really hope they fix this lobby bug ASAP. Oh, this new map pool is there. Scandinavia. Golden Swamp. 
new map pool, aka uh, not the maps from the previous map pool, but the one from the before. Oh, did that go offline? Is he like uh, done already? He doesn't want to play some Nomad. I should get a haircut before we move. My hair is beautiful. Doing BJJ. I have no idea what that is. Do you miss Jordan for his cup training? Yeah, sure. Jiu Jitsu. Ah, uh, don't think so. He just said he has started MMA. I don't know anything else yet. How's your love life, sir? <laughs> Are you new around here? When you are moving, uh, will there be a streaming break? Um, a Khmer, by the way. Byzantines, Magyars, Khmer, Burmese against Japanese, Malians. Where are my bills? Uh, against Japanese, they have Poles, Aztecs, Malians, and Japanese. Pretty good civs. Let's <laughs> we'll just drop a TC here. Hello, shorefish, thank you. You know A2, but the women know everything else, man. Get the haircut. Fine, fine. Oh, that's a close town center. The less is there. Byzantines. His dog isn't too far. I'm not sure if I can rely on, rely on him to defend my fish, though. I love a good old Nomad game. You don't get to see those often. True. On quality content on TV, while I eat this delicious foo. Enjoy boiled noodles. Your name is fitting your dish. Go back slick and let the hair grow. Stay enzym. Stay, stay humble, stay enzym. Maybe save your doctor this time. The thing is, I can do this now. Bam. You can hide in the house. So we're fine. They both put the teases in the middle of the map. Okay, at least none from our team is the last one. Whoever's last is a really late down center, it seems. Still not up. Three minutes and ten seconds. Maybe a really unfortunate start. Ruben last, probably. Why probably Ruben? He's a red color. I don't know what tell there was that he would be last. Stay humble. Margugo, I won the game where I did the two eagle lure, so I'm not sure what you're talking about. I would have probably lost if I didn't do that. One thing I'm going to try to get used to is not build too many houses with this dock villager. Because if you lose the water, all the houses go down as well after they take down your dock. And besides, you want this fisher guy to be taking food anyway. So... You were casting Delta for the 5 months and target 3 units with them. <laughs> Doubt, when I checked his POV, he had like 27 monks in the same control group. Margo, isn't it embarrassing when you think about the, how Doubt plays? Knowing that he laps you easy? Isn't that kind of embarrassing? The less back playing. Never left. It just has a little bit less time for AV2 compared to before due to his studies. Eat 30 food. I want to play without Loom. So far, so good. Should be another board down here somewhere. So we got one board there. 
Which means there should be one board down to this direction. There's one board up there as well. Ooh, someone found my dock. No bueno. Probably try a straight fast castle. Cannot find the boar that I presume to be here. Mistakes were made. Yeah, the cats are truly gonna enjoy being able to run outside again. I, they must be going crazy living in the same, this apartment for so long. Oh, that was a mistake, but it's fine. Oh, Ruben, uh, who's Gray? Full. The Gray player seems to be quite close to me. See if we do any... Maybe he took whatever board that could have been down there then. Maybe I go up with a stable. Wait, there are new campaigns coming out, full caps lock? Uh, there will be like four complete new ones, and then there's gonna be like 14 or 15 that are kind of made from the developers. I'll do one more fishing ship. I think that's a worthwhile investment. Actually, no, I'm not gonna do more fishing ships. Not campaigns, but scenarios. Wait, so is, is each of them just going to be one clip? Or like one mission? Will every single one of those just be a single mission? Don't really need wood, so let's just put everything on food. To see if we're able to get 800 food in time to go up straight to the castle age. This will be a really fast gas stage time if it works out. Pretty much. Okay, well as long as they like have a decent length playing length, length to them, I'm still fine with that. One more on gold. No. Oh yeah, I'm Khmer. True. You're right. I'm a little bit worried that I won't have enough food though. I mean with six fishing ships though, I think I should be fine. I think we're fine, actually. Got a little bit more food coming there. I think I do depend on my fishing ships, though. For the last bit of food. We have enough? 14, 6, yeah, it should be enough. Okay, it will be like instant castle age. Nice. Oh. Love it. That's 19 YouTube videos. Oh, that's one way to look at it, yeah, I know. Like, look, we are four players in Dark Age. I'm on the way to Castle Age. What now? <laughs> now we make more villagers. And we get another sheep. Thank you very much. And also my fish hasn't died before I'm Castle Age. That's usually my how I play the game. With, without fish. So this is also still nice for now. Like, we have two players in Dark Age still. Let's do horse color before we make a farm. Can I afford two teases right away? I think I might be delaying wood upgrade, second wood upgrade a little bit. Ruben, what did I ever do to you, man? What did I ever do to you? It's a dock villager. Hero. Hero among, amongst ordinary men. Uh, 
Let's do one TC there, one TC there. 14 minute cast Lady Nomad. That's pretty sick. Let's not delay wood upgrade. My thesis will be a little bit idle. But it's fine. I know fish. He did leave two of them alive for now. It's just because he wanted to go to the next person. He did enough damage to me by killing like four of my fishing ships. Okay, we'll have a little bit of idle TC time, but once the villagers get going, or production gets going, should be a pretty smooth boom. I'll take that, thank you very much. This is where I wish I had a market. I did a mistake, I, I left bills on gold. That was a big mistake. I've collected 200 gold extra than I needed. That should have been like... Wood, for example, for farms. Woulda, shoulda, coulda. Otherwise, it's been pretty perfect so far. Also, obviously, don't have fish. Fish is a bit annoying, but it is what it is. Where's my favorite series? I saw a video from T90 on how unstoppable they were. They pretty much are. They're definitely one of the best series in the game, no question about it. The flexibility, how many maps they are good on, and so forth. It's just hard to not take them into consideration if you're talking about the best civs in Age of Empires. So once I have like 16 on farms, or on food, I will think about or switch my focus to maybe a third town center, a uh, fourth town center. Next up, another town center. Fourth town center and then a fifth town center. I think that's the way to go here. Are Persians still top tier? Yeah, I would say so. Especially on hybrid maps. Especially on hybrid maps. What's my favorite save today? Mm. I'm not sure if I have one favorite save that stands out. I like different saves at different times. On different maps and so forth. You know, there's not like, oh, I love this sieve. This is my favorite. I don't have that kind of thing. About any sieves, I would say. Yeah. All right, this is looking good. We're definitely gonna add a fourth town center, maybe even a fifth. I mean, like a sixth overall. That would be. I'm tempted to go for a sixth town center. What do you guys think? Boom into GG? I don't think so. I think our boom is going to be extremely powerful. The question is just what unit I make after. I'm feeling battle elephants. I usually go ballista elephants, but right now I'm feeling battle elephants. Oh, I'm going back home. <laughs> just a prank, bro. You sure about this? Mm. Don't have loom. What is he doing? He committed and then he did not just like not commit at all. Was a bit strange, but okay. The gray has knights. I think I still want another town center. Yes, I know I don't have Loom. How oh, seriously do you take the feedback Harry gave you regarding improving tournament performance? It's not really anything I didn't already know, to be fair. But of course, it never hurts having other people tell you it. You just reinforce things that you can 
change. But I, I think I have other issues that needs to be sorted first before any minor issues like that. I say minor. There are other issues that I think are more important to fix. Rather than the things he brought up. How about the hoarding gold comment? It's a it's a true statement. That's something I also am obviously aware of. I often find myself in situations where I'm loading gold because I was greedy or just switched into a boom, but I didn't really readjust my economy to align with my greed. So we have a 60s boom going on right now. Because I need to make sure I maintain my houses. Question is, do I, do I prepare elephant spam now? Or do I do it in Imperial Age? Make a seven town center? No, oh, let's not go overkill, okay? Does it feel weird to give advice to a new kid? Is he the new kid? It would be weird to me if I got advice from like... Like noobs. Like let's say Margugu comes and gives me advice. Hey Viper, you should fix this, right? Obviously first I laugh. And then I feel weird about it. Because then I realize, wow, this guy has the audacity to give me advice. You know? And then... You, then you might have a bit of a self-reflection and be like... Wow, have I really sunk that low that this guy, that guy, would give me advice? You know, that's kind of the thing you go through. Be humble. You have a sheep on the coast to the left. I don't think a sheep is important for me right now. I'd rather set up my farming economy. We're already 110 bills. Let's idle. We'll do wheelbarrow. Cancel all the production. And we'll go to the Imperial Age. Start building stables. On every angle. I don't have enough food. A gold. Started my gold income a little bit too late. Come on. Come on, 20 gold. Thank you. You can do a loom as well. Maybe some more houses or good things about that. Would like a castle on this hill? It is close to gray. I'm not sure if this is safe yet. But the elephant spam should be insane. Ballista, right? We always go ballista elephants. So I thought we should change it up a little bit. Try something else, you know? We have enemy down there, enemy up here, and two enemies up there, okay. Aztecs, he might go full monks, in which case I could always just mix in other things. Let's do a monastery so we can do, uh, so we can get dem devoted. Oh no, better point issue. I want this tusk swords. I think our elephants are just gonna absolutely clap. Who wants the castle drop? That's good. Need more houses. Ignore the team for long enough. I've been slowly monitoring what they're doing. It's all good. Bull should be full of fear here. That's all I can say, because he's got some big ass chonky boys coming his way. Send some chonky, chonky boys to them as well. 1100 food for elite. We can do that. Chonky boys will enjoy. I mean, look at the score. That looks pretty brutal. 
Gebettos are pretty strong, though. I'll give them that. Need this husk swords. Well, let's do elite chunky boys before we continue now. Make market, please. What? Why do I have stable wheels up here? I guess he saw me. Hello? Alright, let's do a... Where are my elephants at? He just killed me with the gabettos? Yes, he may have. Let's try to go to Vilesa. Save blue a little bit. Maybe I didn't pay enough attention to see where people were struggling. Ruben is imp. Gray is quite behind. What? I'm devoted. Game doesn't care about my devotion. It seems. It would seem. Well, this makes sense. I barely have blacksmith upgrades. Faith? I might have to do faith as well, yeah. We need to make sure we take the, the gray base so we can take that gold. No! Okay, this is good. He's definitely gonna need help there. Ah, oh, what a waste. I guess we could go and destroy gray completely. Need to get Kylar to like cav archers, I think. That's a low HP elephant, he can have that one. Yeah, me missing the armor upgrades have been very bad for us. Another reason why we haven't killed him already. Well, we had a great boom, I didn't really deliver on the upgrades in time to make a real impact. Or as much of an impact as we could have done, rather. Still doing significant damage though to the last there. I'm seeing this. <laughs> oh, what's happening here? Pathing, I guess. Yeah, let's let's get faith. I think faith. Don't have a market to sling yet. Okay, purple is going from there as well. Since they seem to be pretty set on converting my... Uh, my converted elephants are going to kill his traps. Okay. Um, they're holding up here. That's very good. The Gabetos came to help the left side. So that means that they are fine there as well. Gray now lost the castle, so we're making progress. Now I can send these elephants as well up here. We can crush Rubenstock, maybe. Use another castle for traps. I don't think it's that importante. Let's prepare those upgrades. Let's try to get the market. We might have to trade there. Trading through the middle of the map safe. I think so. That's our safest spot right now. If he opens the gate, I can come and kill with elephants. Tyler or Timo to couchers? Uh, Timo should be couchers. My opinion. Gray is pretty much out of the game now. We'll just make sure we chase him completely off. I can send everything here.
Cut trees. Or trees. Cut the trees. Oh, that was open. <laughs> Yeah, shoot the chess, please. It's gonna wall behind. Don't know if I'll be able to get inside anywhere at this rate, so let's just go up. It's gonna be a very interesting trade route. Let's do a castle there. I have faith and devotion, so I am the fully devoted right now. Rubenstock seems to be doing a good job being annoying with just Japanese trebs and monks in his right corner. Going for Rimba camels. Oof. He's going to take those castles. I'll prepare st more stables for Hustler as well, because Ruben uh, Villas is making so many monks. Who else can use resources? I think everyone else are good. Send this to the economy. Oh, there's so many monks over there. Ankart, not the biggest deal for for uh, Mer, but I will do it anyways. Yes. Maybe a bad idea. I think I'm killing most of his monks at least in the exchange. It might still be fine. Maybe I didn't. Donnie! Loom, Donnie! What you doing, Donnie? Make loom! Look at that regrouping. Ay, 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 ay. Thank you, Donnie. Hope you had a good stream. Thank you for the raid. Much appreciated. Oh, my elephants are wrecking havoc in their base. That's good. I knew I was doing that. More like a boom, Donnie. That's how it works, yeah? See if we can get rid of those... Uh, Debate those there. Yeah, he's losing a lot of economy. I think this raid is massive. But they're losing more and more ground to Ruben on the corner here. They even have bomber cannons. But they do have the traps from the from the Japanese that are hard to deal with. Wood, wood all the time. Okay, Vilesa is hurting though. I still think we're in a very good spot here. This is a stalemate. Actually, they're pushing here. So as long as Ruben doesn't get too much ground here, we should be fine. What do I make against this? Scorpions? Actually, no, I think my role is just continue make spamming cavalry and slinging. How does this done his AOE training spot now? Yeah, genau. Donny was my coach. Actually, I was... Until 2022, I was by myself. And then I started getting coaching by Donny. And so, for some reason, people call me washed up now. Don't know what happened. When's your Monday? Ah, the Deutsche Montag, eh? Another thing is I haven't built stables anywhere else in my, than in my base. It's not really optimal. Now you're a pro? Quite the opposite, sir. Game is lagging. Elephant raid! Good thing is Grey is still out of the game, right? And as long as Ruben... Oh, this is starting to look ugly, though. We need siege ramps up there. They cannot ignore Ruben like this. Um, hello, you guys are completely ignoring Rubenstock in your base. 
Not how it works. Who's Donnie? A German Age of Empires pro. Where he used to be. Some hustle down there to clean up the monks. Oh god, that looks ugly. Holy sheesh. Are they, did they just decide to ignore him completely to push up here? Bros. Yeah, I think I need to go rams. I'm not sure if I like the sound of... Or me going to Ruben. We have a lot of resources on the map though, so and uh, Vilesse has taken a lot of damage. So Ruben is now the problem. Gray is still suffering down here, I believe. Yes, he is. Yeah, I, I shall switch my focus to try and help against the Ruben. Yeah, playing against this Japanese tower push is a pain in the butt. But when you play as the Japanese, you absolutely love it. It's so fun. I think we just need mass rams and elephants there. Oh, there's more elephants than I do suddenly. It's fine, it's fine. Okay, we have cow archers there now. We could probably use this cow archers against Ruben. This is about to be overchopped eventually too. Okay, trade is not safe here anymore. The bad thing is we never got rid of Grey, so trading down here isn't really safe either. Don't have just, uh, helps if there is no other army, of course they will kill rams. But plan is to have other units with the rams. That can contribute here. Yeah, I don't like how they just stopped caring about Ruben at all. Because now Ruben has a solid foothold. And they probably lost a lot of economy as well. Okay, they pull the wheels off there. He comes with cow there, we can push this back. Let's go. This will give them time to breathe on top, though. Okay, fall back a little bit so his monks come further forward. Okay, let's go again. One big push to try and buy some time again here. And the ram seems to be doing a good good job so far. He's doing a good job targeting though. He's always targeting cowards and a ram by it seems like. Can I get on top of these monks? I think it's time to just go full send. Full send. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, that hurts. Oh. Oof, my elephants are gone. Yeah, that hurts. <laughs> Holy shit. When you fight up the hill against halves and 20 traps and 40 halves and like 20 towers, Yosama towers. Damn. Yeah, let's just clean up the, the towers in the low ground here. We need to continue to raid on top side though. We cannot allow them full breathing time to get back in the game. We cannot fight here. That's the thing. Well, now, now it's going to be harder for Ruben to come out of this corner again. Um, we can no longer fight. We cannot fight up here, at least not for the time being. So we're just going to focus on cleaning up the top side. I'm very impressed with how boss, how brave he is with those. It's fine. 
Oh shit. I think we cannot ignore the bottom anymore. Want to get some camels there, or castles. He's raiding my economy. I do not like that. Green is back in the game. We might be losing this. Don't have. Right now, unfortunately. This is suddenly not looking good. Can I build more wheels? Especially if they get Vilesti as well up and running. Yeah, Teal is just suddenly out of the game, right? Oh boy, boy. Need a trap down here. Finally get rid of this. Game is starting to lag. At least it looks like Ruben is not really able to make progress here at the moment. That's at least good. Very close game though, I like it. I would need ballistics. To shut down the raids. Oh, Taras is so strong. This is almost overchopped. Wait, we have a full gold there? What? All right, around my numbers are healthy. That's good. This castle goes down and Gray is out of the game again. Or like he cannot punish us from that side at least. Uh -huh. Okay, whatever. Let's just push Gray up there. We just wanna not fight next to Red's towers or the tower mass. And I'll try to set some equip in the meantime. I have 11 trade units right now. When I say equip, I meant traps, uh, trade. That's ugly. At least Gray is officially out. If we can take this, I can take the... I'm gonna send a ram down there. Yeah, I can't really fight this. Yeah, Timo is fine on that side, that's good. Six ish bomber tower. It's not it's not it's not straightforward with uh, fighting Japanese trebs is not really that easy when he has like using bomber cannons on paper is good against Japanese, yes. But when he has 10, 15 cataburito trebs, they can fight bomber cannons quite easily. Need to get rid of Vils as well. Just need to find the right time. Joe. Joe. Idols. Okay, one trap down. Yeah, I still feel like we have control over the game, but it definitely got quite messy. What did I write there? I tried to say idols. Mm -hmm. We can then stretch out our trade. Need to make sure we clean up these buildings. Down here in particular. Idols! The trade route is it clean? Relatively clean. He's coming though, for our trade right line. 
Maybe I, I could start mixing in some scorpions now. 900 woods. We can get there. With a bit of patience. This is a proper normal game. There's mess and action happening everywhere. I like it. Gold! The scorpions, yeah, kind of what I'm trying to get now. Ah, a little bit more wood. A little bit more wood. Ruben is a pain in the butt. They must be running out of gold though. They have nowhere to trade. Timo is pushing, doing a good job pushing up here. Surely they must be suffering as well on gold quite soon. Mr. Yup, thanks for three months, uh, two months. Okay, we get a couple of scorpions out on the field. Scorpions will be great as long as it's... Ooh, that's ugly. As long as we're not fighting under his towers. Mm, kind of need all the units down here. Those halves really wanted to kill that farm. I guess it's time to move the market. Oh, how many units? Can't fight him under the towers, but if I can get some rams. Okay, let me just. Whatever. Where's the market? We need seed workshops here. How much stone does he have? Holy cub. They must be slinging all the stone in the world. That's crazy. Okay, which way does he run now to save the traps? He tries to go into his alps. I can take out half of those traps there. I'm happy with that investment. God, that got melted still. He doesn't have too many traps left. My population is bad. <laughs> Suddenly. I'm going to delete this marker as well. I don't trust it. I don't trust that to stay up. Still making progress on the top side. I think we're going to have to rely on that. They're pushing into Ruben's eco there as well. I also don't really want to fight here because I don't have... Does he have so many traps still? You can just snipe my scorpions one by one. I prefer that not to happen. We just build up a Husser army and like 20 scorpions here and I think we should still be okay. More production buildings? I don't really need more production buildings right now. But surely he has to run out of stone at some point, right? Still fine. We'll hit the point where we just stop. He stopped make, making progress because he cannot have 17 towers in each spot anymore. 
do get this gold though. And a little bit of the map. I don't think they can stop Teemo up here. Just taking wood. I'll raid that. Gladly. We just can figure out the path thing. Is he defending now, Ruben? Traps are going back home. We don't disagree with that. One up a list elephants. I wasn't. I did commit my tech elsewhere, and now I only have three castles. It would have been too costly for me to switch away from uh, or two at list elephants at this point. You know there's a lunar robot being built right now from NASA called Viper? I did not know that. That's a very good name. Oh, oh no. Shoot! That's good. Towers are getting slowly cleaned up. Oh, that station there is side half. Is that Ruben? If Ruben has to defend one side, he cannot defend the other. Oh, the traps are on my. Oh, uh, Scorps. Oh, okay, that's fine, that's fine. I think we have full upgrades, right? Yeah, we do. Our job is kill one tower at a time. That was a good game. It became super messy. Thought it was really over and then both Joe and Boy Wonder kind of ignored Rubenstock completely. He was able to get such a good foothold in the center. Victoria! Any game you can 60s boom is a good game, yeah, for sure. Like we had a what 14 minute castle age time on Nomad. That's not many saves can do that. <laughs> Easy rush. Rush for us now, we'll see. We're still here in Victoria for Hint Cup games. Uh, I'm not sure if the, that mod was installed. No, I don't think I did so. That mod was not installed in Cosworo. That's the beauty of Nomad games. It's so messy. People are everywhere on the map. Enemies and allies. You were the only one trading. You actually got 5k in trade. That's not too bad. Sir, some of the streamers making team game with viewers about... What about you also play with us one day a week? Can't be so fun. For you, maybe. What about me? Uh, no, with, with regards to viewer games, it's like... I did a lot of them in the past. And it kind of wore me out a little bit because we would play like capture the relic, for example, and people would just ignore the relic and play only to tower rush me or be on my stream or so forth. Like, cause they wanted to like attack me and just ignore the mission and things like that. And they, it wore me out a little bit, but uh, I'm sure I will do some viewer stuff in the future, but uh, we're going to wait until I feel it. Podcast with hair and that was awesome. Watch the whole thing. Was Masmora there as well? Is that the podcast you're referring to? I would never attack you, Viper. Thank you, find Otaku. Did the show match already happen? Yes. Did I change my title? My title still show match. Oh, it is. My bad. Rage Nomad. Apologies. How many people are watching on YouTube right now? Oof, we had over 700 on YouTube. There's a lot of, like, okay, how many people have YouTube open and Twitch? Like, how much are we crashing, right, viewership-wise, right? So if we add together now, we would have, like, almost, or, like, around 3,000 viewers. But how many are on Twitch and YouTube would be the question. How much overlap is there? 
Why would you have both open? Because some prefer to watch on YouTube and interact on... Like, they will watch on YouTube, but have, like, Twitch chat only. What is YouTube, exactly? Uh, J Motorelli, thank you for the five months. Here for Rage. Tunnel Vision with the six months. Go Danny Boy Strat. Phantom with the five months. Good fortune and health to Snack. Debbie and upcoming baby Snack. Thank you very much, Phantom. New King Ace with the Prime. Mr. Devil's Villa. Four months. Thank you. Captain Cooker with 10 months. Mr. Yip. Thanks again for two months. Butt Plugs Rule with the Prime. You be you. Don't be ashamed of who you are. F. Burak. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. Oh, me and Sups are having a... Well, he gave in. Oh, I feel bad. I was, he was actually first. <laughs> Am I a bully, guys? Like, he was yellow first. I just went there because I like yellow, but like... Obviously, I would have switched away. I sometimes feel like a bully. Yes, you are. Where are my bills? Okay. I low-key don't like... Nomad starts with yellow because I cannot tell where my bills are. Hills or elevation is never good when you want to place a town center. This be a spot here. Okay, I could place it there. I think we just go here. That's a good dock as well. All right. Civ wise, uh, Bohemians, Hindustanis, Ethiopians, and Bengalis. Really good late game civs, I would say. Really good late game civs, actually. Japanese, Persians, Burgundians, and Lithuanians. They got really good civs as well. They have civs that definitely are better early on. With Lithuanians, Persians, Japanese. I think if it gets too late late game, we have a lot better civs. Virots with 9 months, Nomad Yay, Shockwave, thanks for 31 months. Always bully me and call you fat. Well, you are pretty fat these days compared to your normal size. I'm fat too, I, but I wear it like I, I wear it. That's a badge of honor. I'm proud of it. <clears throat> so, what's the minimal rank that you guys allow in the Rage Forest lobbies? Uh, there is no minimal, there are lobbies for high elo and low elo. So you will always be able to join a lobby if there is one according to your level. And if there isn't one at your level, you just post one yourself. Oeli with the three months, thank you very much. Ip, you say uh, ten months. Can't read. Okay. Is that my teammate? Not him. Oh no, not him. Mister. Oh, it was him, wasn't it? Oof. Boy oh, Wonder was late. Uh, I don't have food under my town center right now. One board down there. Guess we're going fishing ship first, no matter what. Did you ask me to send the ship? The, the ship? I need it myself. Captain Cookie gifting five subs to the channel. I see a boar. No, that was not a boar, that's a deer. Did he want me to send him a sheep so he could scout? I need that sheep myself. Need to eat it. But it's one board there, which means there might be a board there as well. Oh, there's a board right there! And now it's going to the other side of the forest, isn't it? Okay, that's fine, that's fine. We can work with this. Oh, Captain Cookie, thank you so much. Gifting five subs to the channel. Congrats to the lucky ones. You're growing. I'm growing a boy, yeah. I'm as well. Myself. Have you landed on baby named Morton? Nope, nope, nope. Viper is pregnant? Only looking wise. This boar is really uneasy, like constantly moving back and forth. Well, that's a nice duck bite you're gonna have there. Thanks for building the community. Thank you for being a part of it. 
How many games did Snack win today? Like almost all of them. Like even the ones I lost in my heart, I won because I had fun. So I, I, I was a complete winner today. We have one board down there. I imagine we might find one board to the right side if we go look for it. Let's do that. And then we'll go down here and pick this one up later. Maybe I play water though. Since I'm Bengalis. I like to have fish alive. I don't experience that very often, so maybe this will be the time to do it. Praying that I find a boar here. Cheap, can work with that. Really close fish as well. I was planning to go up fast, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to be that fast to win water. I have not yet found a second boar, or taken a second boar. Should have just commit on this boar right away. I guess we're fast castling. Yeah, the Shamash was 3 2. Oh. oh, it's a boar here? There it is. Almost taking a boar there as well. In your heart, it was a win. I like that attitude. I think we're fast castling. Wait, this might be serious. Is it going to be a daddy? Yes. Yes, I am. Uh, let's go feud ledge. So I have, in case I want to fight water, I'll have the chance to do so. We're still playing with the idea of still going to cast ledge relatively quickly. Like, what advice have you received from Doughty on parenthood? parenthood? Uh, I, if Doubt gives me any advice on parenthood, I close my ears. So, so far, zero. He tries, rather. I don't have a mill. I cannot afford a market right off the bat. This is green dock. Enemy gray might be in this area. Maybe he has a middle dock as well. Oh, green is fairly close to me. What about Ratha? We don't play with Ratha very often. Let's play with Ratha. We'll do double dock just to like make sure we have defense on water. But we'll aim for Ratha. Doubt has two kids. One boy, one girl. Hey, we best game ever. Chill, no stress. Oh, it can be pretty stressful. It can be pretty stressful. Okay, red is down there. The Burgundian is going fast castle. By the looks of it. Okay. 
Played in a rock and stone. Are you talking about the Deep Galactic Survivor game? I have almost. Well, I haven't 100%ed it, but I, I, I almost completed all those like missions or achievements you can get in terms of like the points you have to score to unlock more maps and things like that. Oh, hello. I've played it a lot. Really fun. Should have maybe put more vills on land. I wanted him to come here. Do I eat my town center? But yeah, as long as my fish stays alive, I guess it's fine. Maybe even add more fish. I'm really banking on my fish staying alive though, with what I'm doing here. Very risky. Been stealing my hunt? True. No respect these days. These Persians though, he might be... Uh... Oh, he's playing water, right? Yeah, yeah. A castle up on his, on his face should be pretty good for me. The purple is up here. Pretty far away. He's Japanese. I guess I'll do like two more fires this way. What if the child is an AOE4 enjoyer? Hope he enjoys the street. Green's town center is though. Oh, okay, there. Uh, can I go with a cast drop on his face? I think I'll just do it on the hill there. It's safer. Would like to win some water here. Green is making a lot of ships here. I feel like I have to go fight water at the same time. Because I'm also banking so much on fish being my main source of food economy right now. Don't really have much of a choice. Don't die, don't die, don't die. No, you're gonna heal. Oh, he's just running. Away, actually. That was a misclick. I wanted to buy gold, uh, wood. That's going to be so annoying for him. I guess this guy can go down there. Oh, he has a second one down there. I think this is more important. Just deny the wood completely. Oh, they have ships as well. I really gotta make sure I don't lose the water. Oof. Oh, there was a tower there, damn it. Tower got the final kill.
Score seems okay so far. Pretty close. Okay, green is in big trouble. Oh, his Bohemians is doing. Uh, doing those boys. And Cannoneers. Yeah, green is gonna be in big trouble. He's in defeat territory, kind of. Those bad boys. The pathing and the freezing and the everything. God. This is so nice to play a game with fish. Ruben untouched again. Well, I am untouched as well, so I mean... I don't complain. You can do a fifth town center even. Do I even need a fifth town center though? Of course I need a fifth town center. I'm out. Of course we need a fifth town center. Oh, red has fish there. Oh, fire ships. Make sure we remain competitive there. We switch our focus to booming a little bit. Maybe we can also kill their fish on the top. That would be pretty massive. That could have been ugly if I didn't catch that fast enough, because they kill those things so fast, it's not even funny. Let me see if I can find their fish. Okay, there's gray fish. There's purple fish. That's gonna be massive. A big equal loss. we can restore this I could see a lot of elephant dodges in my future this goes on YouTube and I don't we don't edit it out skip a little bit a couple of minutes and the game might be going again uh, this has been happening so much this first well I did save so maybe we could resume it He's hosting again. I'm not sure if this is there. Oh, there's a restore. Okay, we're restoring. Let's go. Yeah, the, the one game I actually survived with fish. Wait, what is this? They have like icons now. Like humans. I haven't seen that before. That's what this is what also is so nice to have like a community on Discord that is playing together. Everyone just like, okay, Restore is being hosted and everyone like knew where we, the game originated from. So I'll just check that Discord immediately and then everyone will see that they can join again. Have you ever heard of Vaseloppet? Of course. What has happened so often these days? I don't know. I mean, this is the first time I have this, so I mean, I, I cannot say. How often do you play games offline or do you take a break from gaming after you're done streaming? Um, I do spend a lot of time on the computer even if I'm not streaming, right? Uh, I'll, I'll play games like Football Manager, watch YouTube, do other work on the computer. 
Um, for example, like when Stormgate had the beta week, I was playing Stormgate off stream. Uh, yeah, just you barely see me these days. A lot of my hobbies are on the computer as well. Yeah. And I'm watching football. Uh, I watch on the computer as well. Because the Norwegian app doesn't work on the TV and to watch on the TV, I would have to like set up my laptop every time and such. And I'm lazy, so. Are you a hockey fan? No, I'm not. I went to Norway. I saw a lot of places finally. Got to Bergen, Trondheim, Tromsø, Oslo. Drove all along the coast through the fjords. It was great. Glad you enjoyed it. I'm sure you did. Norway is a beautiful country. Quite expensive, but it's a beautiful country. It's hard for people to, especially if you don't make a good amount of money, to justify going to for vacation in Norway because the prices in general are just fairly high. Salaries in Norway are also fairly high, so it's like it's it goes hand in hand to a certain extent. But well, all the hotkeys are now messed up. But I do understand why it's it's, it's a hard situation for others to go. Norway for vacation. Okay. I was being raided here as well now, so we gotta be wary. Do we win this water? Wasn't paying attention. But it's a bad sign that we have kind of one water and we're not top score. That is a bad sign. Like our team. Oh. oh, shit. Guess I'm gonna go back and just worry about uh, red. Time to test my quick walls. I think I passed. And they tell me to stop quick walling. Would you rather quick wall or have 15 dead villagers? I'd rather quick wall. You know there are like some Bustelier running around on the low ground here. These villas aren't exactly safe. Worth keeping in mind. Uh, right side. So, ooh. They went there. I guess we're just gonna try and take control over this space. As. Bustelier are now there. The score is very close. I'll open with some Ratha, but I will switch to Elephant Archers when the time is right. Okay. Guess he didn't notice. I had to check now. I was scared I went to Imp in this town center. Where can I support my team? What save is he? Lithuanians. Ooh. How do I support my team the best? Is it by killing red? By going upstairs or up on the map to help against Ruben? That's the decision we have to make right now. Oh, hello. That's a long way up, though. I think I'd rather help or kill here. Red is imp, though. Ugh. That can be painful. We just got a lot of new bills. So we're fine.
gonna go Paladin though, isn't it? I think I might want to try and keep this alive. Oh yes, do that, please. I think I won't be able to keep this alive. Unless I can completely body block it. Huh? Can we? We are block of body block. Well, I'm losing, losing the units anyway. It is what it is. Still doing plenty of damage to him. As long as that castle goes down, I'm fine. I'm fine with that trade. Only had villagers there. Ouch. Those are not elite though. Ouch. Maybe I should have gone helps. Yo, bro, what are we killing a mill for? That hurts. That definitely hurts. Okay, blue is going camels. I'm losing all my castles here. Really not good. Apologies, by the way, for the fish traps. I know it's not pretty. Those raids have hurt. Losing all initiative there. I don't. I cannot even fight red anymore by myself. I think. Oh, they got in there. Mm, it feels like Ruben is taking out orange as well. But I think we're in a big problem. Holy Equus in shambles. I probably should have gone helps in hindsight. It's easy in hindsight. Let's have a hundred bills. So I mean, if we can stabilize and get like, I think maybe I add more fish. But fish is also not reliable. Considering where my docks are. Wait, how is he coming in? He left a gap in the wall. South wall. The problem here is as well that I'm still like heavily favored score wise on our team and I have fallen massively behind. I, I wasn't able to get elite elephant archer even. But it feels over. I'm sad. Where's your team? Well, it looks like Orange got kind of melted by the Lithuanian Paladins. Uh, Boy Wonder was doing the Bohemians, like, push on green. He took green down with him, kind of, but 
he got killed by purple in the process. And red, I guess, as well, with Custelier. We would have been able to take care of red. Maybe I should have kept my wrath at home. But obviously, in hindsight, easy to say I should have just gone helps, because then I had countered the Paladin and Custelier. Then I can add Elephant Arches later. Um, so that is something I should have done as well. Free Malak, thank you very much for the Prime. It just doesn't feel right when Ruben taking the top spot. Where is TC dropping and fighting? I know, right? You just had a free boom on the top side of the map, right? That's why always it can be good if you have like an ally of yours spawning in between multiple enemies. Because you still take attention and you put another person in a carry position. That's a brutal KD. Brutal. He had four relics as well, so his paladins were maxed out. <clears throat> All right, uh, is there a BF lobby now, maybe? Since there is no, um, is Ruben, it was the last normal game for Ruben, so I imagine he's going to move on to greater things. Funny the little pal Wait, lower the volume a bit. It's funny the little lift paladin used to be even stronger than they are now. Yeah, it's crazy, right? Why don't we see trade cogs in matches like this? Because uh, water is very fragile. You're not, not guaranteed to have safe trade. You don't really want to overinvest on, on things like that. Um Shut, are you are you listening? Can you test Discord with me? Because I have Discord volume on my... on my. Um... Uh, can you test Discord with me? A call? I, if I set everything up correctly, I can change the volume on Discord as well. Individual from the audio on my system, which would be amazing. So I want to test that. Let's see. Hello? We're not gonna talk. Yeah, if you can, talking will be ideal. Just like a few words so I can check the sound. Try to talk again. One more time. Oh my god, this is amazing. I'm not talking about your voice. Oh, wait, you guys don't hear her. Ah, I need to add. Okay. Wait, do you wait? Try to say something? Okay, so I need to add that as his own source on my scenes. Ah. Discord voice. So I can play Spotify. Oh, wait, that's a scene. I can also play Spotify by myself and not have my stream listen to me or to the songs. Okay. Let me see. Is there a rage lobby yet? Uh, no, don't leave yet, please. One second, let me just try to add it. Right click, add audio output, add Discord audio. Sorry guys, I'm I'm becoming a professional with uh, the my new interface. Okay, uh, that should be. And when I when we have done the move, I'm gonna switch to a two PC streaming setup as well. Okay, so it should be Rodecaster Duo Chat. Rodecaster Duo Chat. Okay. Add it there. There, add it 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 there. Got a stable. All right. Uh, can you try to talk now, please? Hello. One sec. Okay, say something more. Something more. Can you talk in a more consistent behavior? Like just keep talking a little bit? I'm really hungry right now and I would like to eat a banana. So I hope I can finally leave this computer. Keep talking? Or and nobody explodes. Interesting. If I change the volume here, 
It only changes it from me, not from my viewers. Can you keep talking about eating eating the banana? <laughs> I'd rather not choose the topic banana. It might be a little weird if I talk about deep throating bananas again online on stream. Yeah, don't talk about that then. Yeah, I think it's, you guys hear her fine though, right? Probably too fine considering how she's talking. <laughs> So you guys hear it fine, right? Did you talk more about bananas, please? I mean, Shots, go ahead. Yeah, in case you guys didn't know, bananas actually grow from the bottom up. That's why they are not straight. That's why they are curved. I need to figure out exactly how to do the volume, though. Maybe I just do it like that. Oh, that would make a lot of sense, wouldn't it? Can you talk more about bananas? Or is there any other fruits or vegetables you want to talk about? I also love pineapples, but we have no pineapples whole, home right now. Oh, that's very sad. Yeah, I would have loved to eat more pineapple today. Can't have it all. Okay, thank you, Shots. At least I know how it works Thanks. now, so I appreciate that. Bye. Bye. All right, good stuff. I am a, now officially a professional, uh, officially a professional streamer. It only took me about. It only took me about eight years to finally become professional. Why does it not let me join? There you go. Spilsy, thanks for 18 months. Bananas. The Lord Helmchen with the Prime. Thank you very much, Starfighter, with 10 months. Thank you very kindly, everyone. I'm going to let the ads... I see Twitch is lining up ads right now. So I'm just going to play ads quickly now before the game starts. Ready to go to AV2. Thank you, s Jax. Have you considered making a living out of this? You could try. I've, I'm constantly considering it. Uh, level in this lobby seems very much up and down. We'll see what this will deliver. You can have a banana now, are you? Good. Good for you. On incoming, I hope so. Chat, if you're a sub, you don't see ads, now is your chance. There we go. Whiskey Lad, thank you for the prime. I think I'll do one more game and then I'm probably going to call it a day. Or a night or an evening. Tomorrow we have. Tomorrow we have Amiga Wars 2. It's going to be Team Viper against Team Gunji. Should be a lot of fun. That is happening at 17 GMT tomorrow. It's going to be a Rage Force tournament gameplay. So Z should be very, very fun. I'm looking forward to it. <clears throat> Germany against Sweden. I have two Brits as well. I have two Brits as well. Yo, Ram guys here. Thank you very much for the five months. I have two Brits in my team and four, three Germans and myself. Did you have your baby already? If yes, congratulations. Uh, no, we did not. Debbie's still breeding, as she says. Your daily The Viper channel is keeping me entertained every day at lunch hour at work. Thank you, Viper. You're welcome, Kaspar. Glad you're enjoying it.
glad you're enjoying it. <clears throat> the amigos are resting, they say. When is Wage Forest Tournament draft? I'm not sure if we're drafting beforehand or not. We'll see. There's four Germans and two Brits. What I try to avoid to say. What should I go out with? Tuck, Captain Cookie, Tuck, Tuck. Tuck, so make it. One hour before, usually. I'll figure it out tomorrow. Maybe I send someone else to draft. So I don't get blamed for our sieves. Chats? You wanna heat up some piccolinis, maybe, we can share? I think that's a good idea, no? I think we have a pack of piccolinis. Exalted Oreo, thank you for the five months. You don't want no? Oh, damn it. I was now imagining I'm done streaming, turn off the stream, and bam, I have piccolinis. Both of my kids came two weeks after the initial date. My wife was getting crazy. Two weeks after, damn, that's a, that's a long time. Were all those people joining and getting kicked? I'm not sure. What are piccolinis? Piccolinis are small mini pizzas kind of thing. YouTube ad when girly talking about deep throating banana. <laughs> Good timing on the YouTube ad there. What else is going on? There are multiple people on playing one of ones Maybe I just go and play some one of one before we call it a night. Let's do that. Saw so, like MBL is streaming Hera at all. We might be able to get some a one of one or two before I go to bed. Or before I go off. Americans call them bagel bites, really? What? You just do for a living before AoE. I have been through various things, but I worked a little bit for my uncle's com cleaning company. I worked for um, as a in a gym where I was like in Nor like where on my island the island was that small. Like there's like two thousand people living there, so I was a receptionist com combined with like. Can't call it personal training because I wasn't uh, educated in that regard. But I was doing having like group sessions where I was holding training sessions for a group. And I was showing people how to use the gym equipment and like avoid injuries and things like that. That was one thing I did that I kind of semi enjoyed. Um, yeah, before Age of Empires took over. Will baby be on the way with conscription? Yes. Maybe I'll just start a game against Nico. That's fine. We'll find someone else, hopefully. I'm surprised you weren't an architect building walls very quick. True. You want Rage Forest? Uh, the lobby right now is... The, the level is a bit... too all over the place for me to... get too... motivated by that one. Sorry. Final Manet. Thank you for the four months. Ready for tomorrow, bruv? Absolutely, Mununanas. We're gonna clap. Team Gandhi has no chance. Hope you work for a cleaning company. That's why he is so good at hoovering around the economy. True. Have you ever tried cycling? 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 Or is there sick lying? Cycling? Actually, another thing. He's not using his cleaning knowledge while living with me. Give me some respect. I clean the cat toilets almost every day. I prepared a dad bod working on it. Every day. Because she's pregnant, you do for... No, 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 no. I did it. For... It was mostly my task before she was pregnant as well. I bring the trash all out all the time. I do the dishes and empty the dishwasher and fill the dishwasher. Albeit she does that part more than me, but I still do it. Uh, vacuum cleaning. 
I'm not too good at that part. But I did buy a, a robot that vacuum cleans. I'm not good at starting that one either, but that's not the point. We have it. Um, the issue is we have cats and the dog, and there's hair everywhere anyway, no matter what. I suck at vacuum? Exactly. What has this dream become? Uh, a lava simulator. But then again, I have work, right? I think the life balance is fine right now. Vipur. Not good in hoovering, no. Who said hotkeys for dishwasher? Yes. When are you expecting the shitling? Uh, July. It's okay, the vacuum sucks too, yep. In Norway, Toplo did all that? Oh, Toplo is worse than me, trust. He may have grown and matured a bit more now, but he was worse than me. Dishwashing streams? Nope, I don't want to steal your content, Goldie. Might be actually complaining about top play. Yeah, and then you have to you have then you understand how bad it was at times. <laughs> Cause I don't like I'll, I that's the thing, like I don't notice dust. I don't see oh there's dog hair. Too much dog hair right now. I don't notice those things. My brain is elsewhere. I don't walk into the living room and like, oh, this is looking hairy right now. That's not what I'm looking at. It's a clinical condition called having a Y chromosome. We all suffer from it. There you go. That's what it is. Because Debbie cleans it all. Partly true. I organized and cleaned Ernest's room the other day, but didn't get to vacuum clean underneath his desk as a second Eustace. <laughs> I was working. How do you feel about YouTubers who give other YouTubers copyright strikes for 30 seconds of fair use content? Uh, I find that quite silly. It's like fair use content and short clips. I don't, I don't agree with that. I don't have a strong feeling. I, obviously, if you go out of your way to like copyright strike people, you're just being... They don't asshole. It is what it is. But then again, obviously, stealing content without consent is also a problem. So there's like, it's a it's a hard balance to find. And some people will feel like certain things are fair use, while others won't. So that's all also um, it's a different problem to find the right balance, right? Can't wait. What do we find when people carry our furniture? I'm not gonna find nothing. Stream title? What is it now? I forgot to change that. AOE2. That's a safe title, AOE2. I feel like we can't go very wrong with that one. You don't enforce, you actually lost the trademark copyright. I'm like, I have a, there's plenty of YouTube videos on the internet where like some people have asked for, hey, can I upload some clips from you? I'm just like, okay, I just link my channel and it's fine, right? Um. But there's, there are plenty of YouTube clips on, or clips on YouTube of just like taking my POV highlights, no editing, nothing. And some of them have thousands of views. Or like, I'm not actively gonna, I'm not actively gonna chase it down because I also feel like Age of Empires isn't big enough that, and it doesn't, it's not like it's a big problem. It's not like I lost out on a lot of things because I, someone posted a, a one minute highlight of me. If I was a million dollar, not million dollar, million views channel, like millions of views every clip, which channel, 100,000 viewers, it would probably be different. And I could probably have employed people that even take care of that, right? Without copy claim that title. Just rewatched you, the top of the leading the town center. That's a good, glorious moment. Chop the burger, thank you for the 21 months. Why do you leave and re-enter queue? Because after six minutes, the range becomes so wide that there is a risk that I uh, queue up against a player that is far below my level. I guess I was wrong. Maybe there weren't players to play with. I guess I maybe was wrong. Let me check the dashboard. 
Let's see Kingston queuing. I'm not sure if it's one of one of our team games. We'll see if we can get him or not. Don't get him. I might just end it for today. We'll see. We miss old matchmaking. Yeah, like the Wubli matchmaking. I, I wish we still had a, like a competitive system like that. Imagine a lobby browser here was like Wubli. You open this and you essentially have Wubli on your screen. That'll be so good. Traveling to Tromsø next year for January for a week. Is your town worth visiting? Uh, I personally would not recommend you to go to my town. First of all, it's like a three and a half hour drive from Tromsø or two to four hours with boat, depending on what boat you're taking. Secondly, there's not a lot to do there. Nature is great. We have two or three mountains, smaller mountains you can uh, hike. Um, but yeah, like I said, it looks great. And like, if you get the chance to go out on the water, there are like uh, whale safaris. So there are things to do, but like, I personally would not recommend it. Depends on how much time you have, though, and what you're doing, right? And how much interest you have there. How about the Viper Museum? Is it already open? Not yet. Now it's kind of Viper to play some chill tunes. I like some chill tunes. Uh, you have whale safaris from Tromsø as well, though. Probably better. Sometimes the whale safari from Tromsø will even go to the area outside of my island. And because uh, there, there's an area there where you see whales quite frequently. A picture outside Goat's childhood house. There's still plenty of my family members there. You can uh, hook up with some of them. They can hang out with you. There's a pretty nice museum in Tromsø. Yeah, Tromsø has two, two or three nice museums. Also the um, Tromsø church. The Ice Cathedral church. Might be something you want to check out. Tromsø also have great mountains to hike. But if you're going in January, it's going to be very snowy and... and Slippery and such. Not, not the safest, safest time to hike. You could also do the Sherpa Trappa, although during winter probably not good. But you can take the the elevator up to the top of the mountain, and you'll have a great view of a Tromsø. And there's a restaurant up there as well, where you can try, for example, reindeer stew, which is something I always would recommend. Can you spell it, please? Uh, Debbie just spelled it. Uh, it's spelled like this. Sherpa. Sorry, they have been beaten by Aj Ajax. No, that's uh, Bode Glimt. That's the, the, the another uh, city in the top of Norway or north of Norway. I feel like, oh, I was just about to end the stream. I was like, okay, I guess that's it. Not finding any games. Uh, babe, would you be a darling and heat up some uh, piccolinis for me? Check, kappa, uh, question mark? Not kappa. Oh yeah, when we went, we went up Sharpa Top, we walked up and, and down. Up was fine, Debbie did fine, but like when we went down, Debbie's muscles were so sore, like they were giving in. So whenever we like, it would step down. It's almost like she fell. It was a, uh, it was very scary sometimes, because it's quite steep. It is a tough, tough hike if you're not used to hiking. I'm not saying she isn't used to hiking, but just saying in general, if you're not in a good shape, it can be a very tough hike. You can just take twelve minutes. Yeah, but imagine if I'm just finished with the games and the Piccolinis are there. Oh, that'll be so be much better. Season goals for an average of 0.6 relics every game. Sick. Yeah, we're Mongols. What are we going to do here? He's Teutons. On paper, a very good matchup for Mongols. Unless you play like an idiot. So it's probably a close matchup in this game. You will survive. Ugh. No respect. I'm working my ass off all day. 
And this is the first uh, payment I get. Working so hard to provide for our family. Meanwhile, she's just there, like, growing a baby and things. <laughs> Did you eat the whole pizza earlier? True, I had pizza earlier. Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I don't want pic piccolinis. I guess I'm just hungry right now, so I will eat anything. Just making a new villager, true. Eating food from a pregnant lady? No, I'm not. She didn't want it. Those Teuton things? Teutons are amazing, Siv. Honestly, I still think they're underrated to this day. People don't realize how good they are. They have some tough matchups for sure, but there are so many ways to play Teutons in a really powerful style. And one day I will show everyone. I mean, I already showed everyone during Red Bull, I guess, but... There's, even now, they're still underrated. Like we're wasting away on stream. True! No food to eat. I'm slowly dying. Putin's hybrid adding farms like no one else. True. Actually, I gave them a... What was my rating for them on the hybrid map? I don't remember. During my Teuton Civ competitive Civ overview. Oh, houses. Uh, I guess we just go up? No, I don't have a mill. Um, let's do that. We'll pick up our sheep. Let's just calculate. I wanted to do Loom now, just in case he comes with a drush. To be fair, we're all slowly dying. True. Bro, I got hit with such hard facts. It's too early for that, man. We're only halfway through the week. It's not weakened yet. They humble. <laughs> I'm looking forward to Amigo Wars tomorrow, though. I repeat, we're playing Amigo Wars at 17 GMT. Team Viper against Team Ganji. Should be a lot of fun. Gamers saying it's not weekend in gaming every day. Margugo, trust me. After you have been full time streaming, or you're gonna, I'm not sure how long you'll do it, but if you're committing fully this year, like you are, there will be days where you feel like you don't wanna play Age of Empires right now. Where's the town center? Why are we running like this? He's walling himself in on the right side. 70 points. Maybe we open Archerinos. This is walling. Stay humble. It's also a lot of work that comes with being a streamer that people don't see on the on the on the surface. On the surface, I'm just turning on my computer, playing video games, and talking into a microphone, right? There's a lot of work that goes into streaming. Tomorrow is International Women's Day. Is it really? Oh. They humble. You know, top eight this year. Oof. That's not very humble, though, Morgugu. I've seen more humble statements. Just fully walling everything. Oh, no wood upgrade. I think if I get to Mangudai, he's dead. So let's do that. Range. This is going to skirms. Mm. 
Maybe add a stable fairly quick as well. The scout is a little bit out of position if he's still around my base. So one single skirm or so would not be able to defend this at the moment. More Google merch and pay for a stay humble t-shirt or hoodie. True. Do not qualify for S tier events. It's just to let us appreciate your quality as a streamer. It's a very, very good way of putting it. Put my blacksmith on the control group by accident. Need to stay humble and don't do things like that. Should have flashing him fair, fairly quickly compared to him. We are already preparing our next transition behind this. Does he have a spear? I don't see a spear. Stay humble. Stay humble. Ooh. I need to stay humble. If we can bait him around. Actually, no, I kind of just want to engage this, I think. Let's do the doubt. I don't think he has fletching yet, that's why he's not uncomfortable engaging. He also spent a lot of resources walling very early, right? It is expensive. Need a house faster. Arms knife. He just finished the blacksmith now. This must be annoying for him, for sure. Why you go multi sheep? Come on, man. You do better than that. Come oh man, why do we do multi sheep? Can I just kill a scout, maybe? They humble. Oh, the, the melee freezing is amazing. Look at that. That's so good. I love that. And lowest privilege we can jump on here. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> How much is a Lancers? Or Mangadai? I sold my stone, I guess it's Cowarchers. Like two, three lancers and cowarchers. I think is to play. T John, your please. I wouldn't be opposed to that either. What's well, bigger problem for Tutin is early cast ledge. Um, like early cast ledge, if you're still feud ledge, Lancers is always a bigger problem in general. But uh, couches will obviously scale. 
a lot better here compared to compared to for example dancers against students but it was gonna come aggressive there we go it's gonna go back as fast as he came forward is it good i'm gonna try to snipe his spear you'll probably think i'm going lancers only because of that there's a chance he's not expecting cowatchers right off the bat I love how they regroup backwards. Do they not really answer the couchers? In this case, I have an early enough lead to the point where I would also say that I want to get to this wood line. Where I would also say that couchers in this case will be better for me because I should have a good timing advantage. But I also. Wait, this is open. I also have enough time where he's stuck in few layers where I can build up couch in numbers. Which is also an argument for why Lancers would have also been a very good play, because most likely he's in few layers for a while. Hmm. Need to stay humble. We got a village of kills, so it's fine. Spear. Look at the score. It's crazy how much control you get with Mongols. Also, I think he may have gone too heavy on the walling early on. It must have surely slowed down his feud age a little bit. Or Castlish, rather. It does have a uh, bot canero now. We have to be a little bit humble. This spear just ran through here, did it not? Was I blind? Maybe the spear ran around. This is where I could now switch to anything. If I want to play Lancers now, I can. Safest play right now is simply just to add the Monastery, pick up Relics, control the game with Manganels, add Town Centers, and then switch to Mangadai when I am ready. is really aging already blind but he ran through on the other side i saw a, a, a spear run there i thought he was running through the or in between the houses yeah i am blind thing is it must be really scary for him to even come out on the map not knowing exactly what i have waiting for him but he's also in a position where he kind of has to do something right the longer this game goes without him doing anything to try and bring himself back into the game, the better it is for me, obviously. And I'm now... I know I'm floating gold, but this is on purpose. Not that I want to float gold, but I don't know what unit I want to make right now. I know what unit I want to make. Let's go light cap. GG. This is a prime example of a game controlling the game by simply having initiative he had initiative from early feudal age from being mongols he did ex like expensive walling just to survive not take too much damage and in doing so he invested a lot into defense we took advantage of timings we scaled into a fa way faster castle age now we just have full map control better economy better setup for long term better save long term and it's just all under firm control. This is why you need to do things with Teutons. You cannot play defensive and assume that it's going to work out against Mongols when you're Teutons. You have to. You have to do something at some point. 
We're already 10 bills ahead. What could he have done? He could have opened fast a few lades, gone scouts into archers, something to make it a bit awkward for me to defend or play, and then he can wall a little bit later, maybe. There's options, but what he did was essentially just giving Mongols exactly the game Mongols want. You want extended feudal with Teutons? Extended feudal with Teutons is never bad, yeah. Because of the cheaper farms. I mean, I say never bad. Like, if the game extends in feudal age, it's on paper not bad for you. Because, because you have um, the cheaper farms. And you have full upgrades for everything in feudal age. I'm curious, how does it actually work with taxes as a streamer in Germany? Uh, all my income from streaming and tournaments and whatever is all considered income tax like uh, it's all um what's the word it's considered income so i tax of every all types of income i'm getting through streaming or gaming and the tax is fairly high in germany so too long didn't read turtling is rough you don't want to turtle against mongols because mongols take control of the game and they will be ahead of you because they see you turtling, and they will just take advantage of that to pull ahead in, in different angles, right? I think against Mongols, more often than not, you want to make units to make sure Mongols cannot just sit back. Or like Mongols shine if they get an untouched and smooth game. Mongol has to defend, and, make, and you make it messy. It's way harder for Mongols to, um, to smoothly scale as the game goes on. And Mongols have a thing where they tend to want to make Mangadai, which is often a bait as well. Um, but yeah, like I said, early Lancers, for example, is still super deadly. So it's even if you commit bigger on Feudal Age, for example, there's still a big chance you just die to his faster Castle Age and Lancers. Who do you want? Like, Turtling is usually good if you have economic lead that will put you in a position to be stronger, or if you have a better late game sieve. That's where Turtle... Turtling is a good choice. Is it 45% tax in Norway? I mean, it depends what you do and such, right? Depending on your job and your income, you have different percentage, like tax, um, what are they called? Tax levels? Tax steps? I don't know. Tax brackets. That's the word, brackets. Norway and Germany have progressive tax. The more you earn, the more you tax. So it goes towards 50% at 100% euro, 100, excuse me, trying to say 1,000, 100,000 euro a year. I think same in Finland. Yeah. It's almost the same everywhere, I think. Well, there's a lot of countries that don't have, uh, uh, what's it called? Property tax, things like that. You guys pay tax. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's your opinion of turtling with Portuguese? Portuguese is one of the civs that also often benefit from turtling because they have such a good they scaled so well into Imperial Age Andorra, thank you for the prime by the way fancy pants with 5 months, thank you very much like with Portuguese you also have like if the game goes past 2-3 hours you're always going to win because you have Feitoria UAE has no income tax. Damn, I should have moved to UAE. Uh, there's other reasons to not live there. When do you move into the new house? I think our moving date is 27th or 28th of March when we start. We'll probably spend two, three days moving things over around. But yeah, like um, as soon as um, yeah, when the move starts, I'll obviously I'll, I probably won't be streaming for two, three days. Make sure everything is working. Did you buy a house? Uh, no, we're building. We built a house. Will we get a house tour? If Debbie wants to do one, she can do one. I don't know if I want to do one, like for myself, and that that makes sense. Maybe that's how Debbie re gives a birth to her streaming career again. Buy a house. Easy. I kind of wanted. A house that suits our needs and is like built the way we want it and has air conditioning. Buy a pop house. Our house 
currently would be a potential, I would say, a five pop house with the chance to ex expand past five population if we want to. Mongol? Why? How am I getting Mongols again? I'm hacking. Never gonna get housed again. Uh, I am. I'm never gonna build a house again. I'll tell you that much. Unless I, for some reason, become a billionaire randomly, I will not build it. Because then, if I was a billionaire, I would just tell someone this is how I want it, make sure it's like that, and then I would never deal with them again. But the amount of problems we've had with our construction company. I never want to build again. I'm gonna. We're gonna be so happy when this whole process is over. It's a problem. Though. We're so excited to have our own, uh, have our house, but the whole journey has been tainted by how many problems we've run into with the company, and real a real pain in the butt. So it's a bit unfortunate. Like it has been really fun to see the house develop step by step, right? But then, there's all the problems around it. Removes from the joy. They say building a house is one of the most stressful things you'll ever do. I mean, I'm generally a chill guy and like, I'm fortunate. Well, I'm fortunate that I, everything has been mostly dealt with in German. So Debbie has been taking care of most of the things. And yeah, it has been quite stressful for sure. Like Debbie has been taking care of almost all the communication and all that stuff and yeah it has been a lot. Same in every country to be fair. I wouldn't build in any country. <laughs> you sometimes help like building walls. <laughs> then the house will be done a long time ago. But no. Debbie took care you will have a banana tree in the garden for sure. <laughs> Sure. L Europe, you have the same hairstyle. Ah, condolences. Is it normal to have problem with contractors in Germany? Um, oh, I would say yes. Is normal everywhere. What's he? here? Hindustan is. Yeah, I'm gonna do something that might. Since we have such a great map, I mean the gold is a bit exposed. We have a really good map here. I'm gonna do something that is a bit crazy, but given the map, I think it might work. The drop off resourcing is going to be such a match. You know, like I can just do this, click one button, and they will drop off the resources and go back to work immediately. It's going to make certain parts of the economy management and efficiency with economy super, super easy to manage and powerful. The smoothness of builds should also increase a lot because of that. And when I say a lot, I mean like 1%. Uh, you are so damn lucky. I remember, remember relatives building houses. The bullshit you have to go through, especially to even sometimes understand the German. They write the letter and what not else. How are we so damn lucky? That doesn't sound very lucky. Uh, ah, strategy. I didn't explain what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna uh, man at arms into Mangudai. That's my strategy. Not just that, imagine a hybrid map in a tournament, you can kill mill the deers and focus on the action. You can do that already. I think that's going to be a massive change. What's the point there where that changes? That doesn't really change, does it? Oh, I forgot to build a house. Oh, I'm lucky that Debbie handled it. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm very thankful for that, for sure. She has dealt with a lot of shit. Uh, very lucky with that. I am, personally.
We drop our food from there without needing to focus there, getting me into fetching army, etc. while microing. I still don't see exactly where what's different. I mean, like, you would just put your wills on deer anyway. Who, like, currently. I don't really see the difference there. And I'm lucky we can afford it due to your work and now starting a family. Yeah, we're all working together. We're a good team. Teamwork is the key. The only problem with this approach is that he's Hindustanis. So if he's going scouts, there's a big chance he can just break walls really fast. Hello, Viper. You already got the baby. Thank you, Kokopuri. Appreciate that. Very kind of you, sir. Very kind. Also, you're delusional. Doubt is the goat. Everyone knows that. I don't have loom. Oh, I'm going through the town center like an idiot. I was supposed to go around here. It is what it is. At least I know his scout is at home. Why do I... Okay, whatever. I'll break the wall. I want to find out what he's doing. Could snipe those sheep, but let's not do that. It's going archers. I think that's good for me. Doing what I want to do. I also want to take the gold. Get 200 gold ASAP. So that I can abandon my... Or like be pushed off my gold by archers. I, mean, I could always do a tower though as well. Wouldn't be the end of the world. Ooh, that was close. With the viper smile, Debbie had lucky. Who? Cap of pride going on in chat right now. And I'm all for it. Is he just going counterattack? Like his archers are not defending. Okay, there they are. He might have sent first archers forward though. This is a spear. Loom? Why? Nothing can attack me. Oh, he did go forward. Okay, let's do loom. question is do I want do I want any do I want a tower is, is the question he's lucky with your beautiful face huh? come on guys oh chaos to win is hosting a rage forest my teammate he's preparing for tomorrow What Lord of the Rings name will you decide for your baby wiper? I'm still stuck on Witch King of Agmar. I feel like that's not sticking. Did you ever thought about expanding your content creating, like doing vlogs about your house building? Oh, vlogs about the house building. I. I prefer to do positive content. <laughs> you know? So, I would say probably not. I don't think I'm much of a blogger person, personality either. But, I mean, I, my, well, the blogs that I have done are content like Red Bull Bululu, uh what's happening during the games and so forth, right? What how the preparation is like, how it's looking behind the scenes. I'm not sure if I have interest myself in doing like real life vlogging or vlogging content. Yeah, Debbie used to post some clips on Instagram, but yeah. I think the experience got sour after a while.
I want to keep Vils here just to make his archers stay. I don't want him to go here to start shooting the wall with everything. I think I need to maybe wall a bit extra there. Okay, let's make sure we don't have a hole. Nice, right, so I need wood for a couple of houses, thank you. And then one more. Oh, I'm losing Vils. Well, one villager is fine. No, oh, my scout! What's good for him is he's playing crossbow. And crossbow will be a decent counter to Mangadai. But I get Manganels as well. Maybe not. Isn't there a hole in walls? Where? Don't think so. He wants to break? No, there's no hole between there. Might have to do mangonels first. Low bills, don't go idle. Score is purely scouting, by the way. Anyone is like, oh, he's such a big score lead. Must be winning. I think I might have to. Do like proper walls there. Probably will stop there. That will give me time to make the walls. This is a very passive gameplay, by the way. I don't like this style at all. Don't think it's good. I like Mangurai, so I'm not opposed to getting the chance to play like this. Yes, TC. If he adds skirmishers behind this as well, it'll be very tough for me to. Like, I'm gonna fall behind economically for sure, but I will have a very powerful army. Could even consider playing one TC. Just wants to break in here? Guess it's not unheard of. Wait for bot canero. Thing is, I will have a really strong army soon. It's kind of what I'm basing my. I'm gonna take full control of the game with army. This reaction in play so far, as a response, has been very good. Husbandry or bloodlines? Let's do husbandry so we move it faster. Get the relic. Not yet. I need to do things that give me back control of the game first. Oh, 
It's gonna be very important for me getting this castle up, so I have a point where I can push from. Ooh, ooh. Let's just run through. Do you have ballistics? I need to know. Okay, no ballistics. Very important to know. Okay, we still need that hill. Oh, hello there. This is what we're gonna get with our army lead. Opportunities to just kill like suddenly six, seven wills. And then it's not looking as bad anymore. Wait. Oh my god, this was open. No wonder he wasn't watching. Bit of a trade off there. Okay. That was not good for me. I'm still happy with the position I'm getting with this. Oh, that was ugly. Yeah, this is hurting. Did overchop there, so it makes sense. I send the mango. No, I'll just send my uh, mango. I'll just send my mango back. Or mango day. Ooh, he has a castle as well. We are in a position where we have to do damage. I'm still one T seeing this bad boy. Bill is nebulist. Uh, ballistics. Score is such a lie here. <laughs> so go back in stone so I can start slowly adding town centers. Mr. there goes my mangra, eh? All right, what do we do here? I would argue we're pretty dead. Score is such so weird. I feel like I'm actually so far behind because he had, had he has had three TCs running with Hindustanis, by the way. We can try something that is fun and risky, but I like it. I like the sound of it. Just to go imp now. Losing the Magnus is a big punch. Big hit, but I think we might still be okay. What would that do? That is a good question. I don't have bloodlines, but I don't think I can do it at this point. Like he should probably switch to skirms. We're being real. Farming eco looks really healthy. That looks to me like someone that could potentially go imp soon. I have ballistics now though, so... My micro will become a lot easier. I'm getting more and more score lead. Which is so weird. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe he's like... Struggle to keep village production going or something because of all the army, but I definitely feel like Skirm still would have been a better choice for him than going full Ghulam.
Okay, we're almost ready to go up. Let's try to pick some relics as well. Just so we have some longevity. Maybe it's just a KD. Could very well be. Okay, we need bloodlines next. We need a monastery again to pick up the relics. Like I have enough economy now to mass produce Mangrai. What I won't have enough economy for is getting like elite Mangrai. Elite Mangrai is something I will not be able to afford forever. But I will be able to afford like Bracer. For example, he's losing a lot though. I'm gonna go into this pocket, see what he deletes. But you should not delete it. the waste. Can I escape? Oh, he didn't rewall this. That's huge for me. Okay, if he's not imping, which I don't think he is because of the amount of golems he's been making, then I have a cast in an amazing spot as well. Okay, we cannot take that relic then. He goes untouched, we'll have four relics. I might just resign when I get imp as well. He's not imp himself. Yeah, he would have had path through damage as well, you're right. This is also the thing now, I've killed so many vills. There's a chance his village account isn't more than like 20 ahead instead of like 40. Let's see, I hope he doesn't resign, but I feel like he might. The score will be such a big difference. Don't resign, don't resign. Have some faith. Ah, shit. Why, oh, I got the hole. Like, I, I think he still has decent chances of winning this game. We would have need to add skirms. Maybe not now, but he cannot wait too too much longer to add skirms. That's open as well. Oh my god. That's a lot of gulam. Okay, what's happening here, guys? My KD will be insane, though. This game goes on. Oh. I think I might be able to save this. This golem don't have that much damage output. What? Repair? Repair? Did I not have wood to repair or what? My wills just didn't repair. This one should stay alive though. <gasps> I have wood. Fine. It's fine. I guess we lost a lot of wood chopping villagers. I only have four. Oh, that's some damage for him. If he avoided all the damage villager losses he has taken on north side. North, north side? I think his chance of winning would have still been pretty high. Now the manga snowball is getting too real. Ooh, skirms. Yeah, we're getting towards our third relic. like this. Can I idle enough to get elite Mangrai is the next question. Because then I don't even care about my economy, I just care about having enough wood and gold to make Mangrai. 
With 14 on food, I think we can drill for what units? If he does any counterattacks again. Drill traps. If only that was a thing. Would have loved to see it. Oh, look at the regrouping pathing. Gotta love it. Mm, let's help the monk a little bit with the pathing. Just to make sure he gets the right. Wait, am I trapped? Oh, I'm trapped. I am trapped. Let's try to get Elite Mangurai before he attacks. Yep, still have heal though. So we're fine. Man. We're just missing leather armor and part and tactics. And then we're golden. When it comes to upgrades. Why no GG yet? You're up 2k score. Score isn't everything. He probably realizes and acknowledges that I am 1TC playing this, right? In which case, economically, he probably still has a 40, 50 villager lead, maybe more. And he's imp himself. So I'm still, I cannot take any bad fights whatsoever. I take one bad fight in this game, and it can easily go wrong again for me. Kind of want to force fights now, though, before he gets upgrades. He has Bracer now. Like, he has population lead still, this game. 100% he has population lead. I have a massive KD advantage. This is also where the responsible thing now is to start adding town centers. And just add boom behind Because I have enough army now that I can stabilize the game for as long as I want. To the point where I can probably boom behind this now and catch up an economy but i'm instead gonna go for another castle on this hill because there's a hill there we have four relics as well so playing long term would have oh ooh, that's not good from there yeah parts and tactics as well that's the last armor too I have zero gold income right now. No, let's go there. Score is so crazy, right? No chance I'm... Like, I'm guaranteed behind the population still. We're working with like a... Over a 2000 score lead. Okay, let's get our trips to the, other, the next castle. And whatever, let's add a town center or two. We have a surplus of resources right now. Is bomber cannons? Probably is. If I could get to drill onager. That's also a situation that would be very let's say beneficial for me. Ooh, not like this. Bye trap. This is a good play by him. Just send skirms to counterattack. Still want to get my treb in on the action. Oh, 
It's getting very awkward for me. Like I still have a strong standing army. Oh, we got it. Last second. We have a very strong standing army, but the whole eco is getting idled now. We lost the second bomb cannon though, so still have good initiative on the front. I probably should run back and clean up everything. Just to get my economy working again. So I mean, he st still is probably working with a solid population lead. Still have map control, I have relics. Wait, this relic is up for grabs now, isn't it? He lost the castle. If I can now turn... Let's say I can add like 20, 20 30 farms. Then uh, I can start making counter units to him. Scouts, part what? I did do parking tactics. I've done all the upgrades. Okay, let's see if this up for grabs. Oh, he took my trap on my castle. On my trap. Okay, can we snipe that somehow? I don't really want to lose this castle, but I might have to give it up. There's too much defense right now. Oh, he's doing his own castle there. Yeah, we'll just give it up. long-term problem I can see for him is that he's soon going to be in a spot where I can make light cav again. As long as I don't lose my Mangadai. Or nothing. I think I'm still fine. This is also why I said he should just have made skirms. If he made skirms from the get-go, I don't think uh, he would have been in this much trouble to begin with. Okay, that's gonna be a bit tough to defend. Maybe I can bring some more vills to repair. Yeah, that one has to stay alive. Always not paying attention. That was definitely worth it. Oh, that's annoying. Monk for healing. Uh, my units have to be way too active for me to be able to just make monks for healing. Spartan Tactics, however, is a good shout. Okay, let's make sure we get that cleaned up. We're up at 30 farmers now. So we're getting there. An extra there's a gold there we can try to get. Need to try and snipe those though. Anger is so annoying. Sorry about that. Let's see how long he wants to repair that for. Has to be starting to get expensive.
now he has entered the next stage of his problems since I did get by enough time to get to light calf. Now I can make light calf. <laughs> that's his problem. If he is only making skirm still, that's not gonna work. Magda is so good. It's insane. Yeah, I think now. Because he doesn't have another text which ready, he's in big trouble. He'll be hiding camels. I still have enough Mangrai though, where to the point where I wouldn't be too scared about camels either. I can even make pikemen as a tech switch if I want to. He hasn't taken the relic either. He's adding Hussar himself. I guess he can't afford light cap. I mean, he's lost a lot of gold on those uh, those bomber cannons now. I want to see his upgrades on his light cap. All the gold? Yeah, I have four relics as well, so like, and I'm not actively spending it right now. All right, show me your upgrades. He only has plus one armor. So yeah, he does not have enough army to punish me in any way with Hussar at the moment. Oh, those are exposed bomb cannons. Unnecessary for me to have all these bills and gold. To be fair. We shall get the relic. I assume he's coming with bomber cannon forward to try and snipe me. Or snipe a town center. There we go. Brave play, brave play. Relic is mine. Still only has cast ledge upgrades on those. Even if it's next to monk, I have a reserve. Just snipe the bomber cannon is all good. Viper dead? I'm finally getting to the position where it's like a 100% win instead of a 70% win. GG. I think he overall he defended fine. He just, instead of the big ghoul on play he did, if he did skirm defense, I think he's in a completely winning spot. Viper dead into GG. Grabbing the relic, Viper confirmed, true. Like, on the position he was early game, he just adds skirmishers with after the three TCs. I think he's in a completely winning spot. Can we check wreck real quick? We can have a quick look, yeah. I think I think this is a cool wreck to showcase what I mean about the situation. We're over seven we're seven and a half minutes in the in the imp. Well he is not. In the end, obviously it's one thirty five to one twelve. But we see a population lady has double population essentially when I hit Imperial Ish. If he could have picked the relics as well behind that, that would have been another thing where he could have taken advantage of that. Let's have a look. Why Light Cav and no camels? Uh, Light Cav have more HP with Mongols. They don't cost gold. And he only had skirms anyway. So there was no need for me to go camel. So we'll just fast forward very quickly. Yeah, just a 1TC, pretty much Mangra I play. Can't be very deadly if it gets up and running. What was the big issue? Long term it was, like, that's the thing, like, I'm floating 2,500 gold. Why why spend it just because I have it? I have it for long term. If the game stabilizes and the drag drags out, having 3k gold in the bank, not a bad thing. Super sneaky with the, with the 14 months. Love the hero doubt you banter in the podcast and enjoy watching you as always. Thank you very much. Appreciate the 14 months. Crazy Zomar with the two months. 
Alec Noyami with the Prime, Morgan AoE with the 7 months, Exulet with the Prime, Edille with 2 months. Thank you everyone for all the resubs and all the support. This obviously is super greedy. I didn't have Loom here either, so I could have been punished easily. Resource collected, we're already a couple of hundred ahead. By power of virtue of Mongols. Ukuro official gifting five subs. Thank you very much. Rage spot though. I'm good for tonight. It's approaching midnight. It's been a solid session. I'm good. I'm ready to uh, call it here. Did we get a cast lap? Resource collector was still two, three hundred ahead, but he has a big arm in cast edge. I, I need a lot of time. Like the situation right now is, I have access to a power unit that scales incredibly well. But I need a lot of time to the point where I can deal with this army. And in the meantime, I'm taking, I'm having a lot of idle time now, and he's adding three TCs behind this. So he's in a fantastic spot right now. Like I would pick his spot in this case, ten out of ten times. It's not a single case where I think I'm in a better spot as we speak right now. Thank you from the US for streaming late. It's hard for me to watch live. Auto the Great, I'll be, I will be live tomorrow as well. Fairly late. 17 GMT. So, uh, it'll be a, in quotes, late stream tomorrow as well. And tomorrow we have the Amiga Wars first round. Yeah, I had an overchop here. The cam just came through. I was killing his crossbow here at the same time, but I, I didn't know I had an overchop. I just looked at the minimap and was like, oh shit, he's actually in my base. So we are... 30 villagers behind, but I get a 4 castle in a really good spot. And this is where he made a tech switch into Ghulam. He already has upgrades as well for crossbows, right? All he needs to do is Elite Skirmisher, add 2 more ranges, even 1 more range, get Ballistics, plus 2 armor on his Archers, and maybe add a 4th Town Center. That's his way to win this game, I think. Right now he's 30 villagers ahead. And I'm not, I'm not even close to going Imperial Age at this point, right? Do I do a lot of his eco? It was almost equal res. I mean, right now we're equal res, yeah. I also have, like, severely better eco upgrades. I have second gold mining upgrade as well. Right now, resource collected is somewhat even, but he should be pulling quite heavily ahead very fast. Now you can see how much he's pulling ahead. It's already a thousand ahead now. And I'm even now, I'm not I'm not ready, even near ready to go Imperial Age, right? I have Vils in the queue. This is where I'm adding farms, because I'm thinking, like, okay... My only win condition here is the faster Imperial Age. He has 40 more villagers. His farming setup, he has 40 farmers. Again, just make elite skirms. And he's cruising here. Ghulam was a big misplay here for him, I would say. Population 110 to 75. Mangra gave me a lot of value in these engagements, though, because I can micro against the Ghulam. Now I'm obviously going Imp. He's still only making Ghulam. He has 40 more villagers. And he loses a lot of hills here, but he still keeps eco lead. Resource collected, though, is not as far as ahead as I thought it would be. My eco is obviously very effective. Good eco upgrades. He's still missing wood upgrade. Wheelbarrow. I don't think he has the gold upgrades either. He does have 40 more villagers. So again, skirmishers. Only, like, just skirmishers and he would have been completely fine. I think Ghulam just to snipe my initial mangonels was still very good, though. But after that, there should have definitely been a skirmisher switch. AD population to 140. Now he realizes, okay, I need skirms. Forty-seven wills to one hundred and ten. He has more than double our villagers, but I have the tech advantage and initiative in the game. He has collected six thousand more resources at this point. That's three times imperial age. How do I top score here? Look at the KD, one fifty to fifty. Even now, like I will pick his position nine times out of ten. I think I have the relics, sure. But he could still take two relics, this relic and this relic. Even now, I would still probably choose... Like, I would never add Thesis forward in this scenario. When there's a f enemy castle, he's in Imperial Age, he has Trebs. Adding another TC forward doesn't make sense. Add TC here, add another TC here, when you clean that up. Just, you want to expand your economy away from the enemy. So you have the better economy, you have 
you're making the more cost-effective counter units. So you just want to expand away from the enemy. All this gold right now is probably going into bombard cannons. I mean, like he's allowing me to harass so much of, of his economy by having all this economy towards the front. Still 50 population lead for him, right? But I have a 3,000 score lead. It's crazy. Crazy how this game works. Beat Mangra with 50 wills. Oh, with 16 on food. And hand cart. Not that unheard of. Now he's imperial. Like, I cannot really fight this skirm straight up anymore. He has more military, double my villagers. Right? You look at the numbers here, just on the top. 180 pop to 98 pop. 56 military to 36. 123 wills to 62. Never in a million years would you think that the blue player is in a better spot. Or has a 2,200 score lead. Yeah, all this gold is definitely being burnt on bomber cannons. Like, if he can just stabilize his farm economy here on, like, let's say he gets up to 50, 60 farmers. So he can max out on skirms. He's already maxed out, right? If he could turn his farm eco now to, like, 60, 70 farmers and add, like, 10 stables. He can suddenly play, like, full Hussar raid. I'll be so vulnerable to Hussar raids as well. Look at resources collected. He has collected 14,000 more resources. 14,000. He still has dub more than double my population. But he's too stuck on skirms. And he doesn't fix his food economy fast enough. Like, like I said, the key in this scenario for him is simply getting up to the, the food count where he can spam Hussar. Whether that be for a meat shield or for raiding or whatnot, it's not important. But this wood and these lumberjacks have to be turned into another 20, 30 farmers. And again, the, another issue for him is that he expanded towards me even, instead of away from me. TC here, TC here, and farm. Add a 20, 30 farm economy up here. And I don't think I can ever win this game. I mean, I can eventually because I'm adding my own economy now. But like, if he had done that earlier, I don't think I would have had a come back in this game but now it's a chill thank you very much for the 18 months it's obviously hard though given how much he was being harassed and pressured his castles in his economy he lost his own castles and obviously i still have mangra here that can just micro a few of them against the bomber cannons he still collect he has collected sixteen thousand more resources No handcart either. Yeah, handcart for sure. And just get that farm count up to 60, 70, 80. And he should never lose this game. That's a learning experience, right? He realizes after watching the game. I uh, think he will avoid that mistake in the future. 5, 6 Mangodai for 3, 4 bomber cannons. I'm fine with that trade. He's floating a lot of foods. So that's probably why he's thinking that he doesn't need to add farms. Which logically makes sense. But he was still in a position where he knew he should have known that stable switch was his next tech switch. And he would have needed a lot more farm economy for that long term. This is where he lost, in my, in my opinion, trying to push the hill. Kind of has to push the hill. I think this castle was, not a, was a mistake. I still had the hill here. If this castle was here... And he was pushing with bomber cannons from there. I'm fine. Or the bomber cannons were pushing from here. Or if he had a castle here and was pushing with bomber cannons. The issue is that he was pushing with no castle defense or anything like that. Even now, like he's probably going to resign with score lead. Honestly. When he resigns, he probably still has score lead. Uh, not score lead, population lead. But we have a healthy farm economy ourselves now. Yeah, look, he resigns and he has 20 population more still. It's the quality of the units. Maybe he thought you're trolling and playing only Mangrai. When did I ever troll? Power the uh, the these guys alone have a hundred kills. These skirms have zero kills. <laughs> yeah, I think he needed to expand to the top, away from from my imperial age pressure. 17,000 less resources collected. Yeah, that's, but that's also the beauty of Age of Empires, right? How much of a strategy game it is. 
versus just like pure micro macro mechanics, whatever. This could have easily been a game where people could look at it and be like, oh, yellow player has better macro, better micro. But he just didn't make the right decisions. Well, blue player did the right decisions. Okay, maybe not the micro because of the KD, but point is he, the decisions, right? Yellow has better color, true. That's the big one. Yeah, 12,000 more wood, 11,000 more food. I had 5,000 more gold, but you can make a lot of units with this with these resources. This is what it is. Dude, you're alive. I am indeed. Yeah, thanks for the games. You're welcome, Lord Serdic. Chicken tikka masala. Thank you for the 12 months. Great stream today, Vaipur. Thank you very much. How did he get yellow? By cheating. Let's listen to that song one more time. And then we'll end the stream with that. We'll find someone to raid. YouTubes, how was the stream today, YouTubes? Did you enjoy? We had an average of six, seven hundred viewers there as well. That's awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed watching over on YouTubes. You just joined? Sorry, Leo. Scoots, thank you for the three months. Go Arabia. Go Arabia or no ball. Alright, listen to me. Arabia is shit because all of these players take fucking spreadsheet bills from Hera on Baipur and 50 minutes are horses in my economy. Seven horses and they hover around me and it fucking pisses me off. And there is no fucking horses, there is Igelos. Castilla is start and you have Igelos. And Igelos, don't give a fuck about TC fire. This is easy to zero damage to Igelos because Arabia is shit. It's a beautiful song. Go Arabia or no ball. Alright, listen to me. Arabia is shit. Because all of these players take fucking spreadsheet bills from Hera on Baipur and 50 minutes are on horses in my economy. Seven horses and they hover around me and it fucking pisses me off. And there is no fucking horses. There is Igelos. Castilla is start and you get Igelos. And Igelos. Hey, link is in chat, guys. Butt plugs! Why you spoil? Don't spoil! Yeah, the guy who raged was this guy. If you wanna watch the OG clip from him? Goodbye, guys. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. A uh, spreadsheet. There she is. Thanks for the raid, Viper. Hello, hello, guys. What's up? A bit sleepy today. Oh, no.